Welcome into Goblets and Warlots, episode 21 of Order the Goblet. We're back from our two weeks. As a, all you all know, I'm on nights now, so we have to do bi-weekly now. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But we are back. We're here. Um, yeah, uh, we just had Dragonlance on Friday. We have Order the Goblet tonight. Next month is the charity stream with me. And is old D here that will be co DMing. So mark your calendars, mark them great, because it's going to be by uh, rotating Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday uh, through the month of October. So, yes, that we are going to kill so many players in that campaign. Characters, possibly characters. What we have no, no players, players. We're going to kill the players. Yeah, it's like Saw. <laughs> but uh, it is for breast cancer research foundation uh, i'll be giving away all the like what you see on my mug right here is these stickers our charity event stickers i'll be giving away this nice and lovely carlac uh 3d miniature and i have to out there i'll be i still have to print off a uh, shadow heart which i'll probably do after tonight and i'll give that away as well we do have uh in collaboration with Loot Studios, a giveaway of one of their pats as well, of your choice. And then we also have all the pink bracelets I'll be giving away. I haven't decided how much you have to donate to get one of those because I will have to manually mail them out. So to save me all the time and money and stuff, I might make a set of like 50 bucks or something like that. One million dollars. And we have to come up with some have an idea of what uh, rewards for donations stretch goals i mean should be but we'll have to flesh those out but there would be all that too and if you're watching on youtube please like and subscribe leave a comment down below what your favorite part was and if you're watching on youtube but you would like to catch us live to assist the players links down to our twitch channel is in the uh, description time again i'll come uh comment on something in chat or something if we get a raid or something like that that's just normal that's what usually happens and like i said there's rewards down uh i have pinned them in the chat so what you can do to give out so like every five uh five ten fifteen twenty and so forth uh get different rewards different magic items gifting the subs gives a greater portion of healing subscribing gives an advantage out and then the viewers can redeem determination which is all each player can only have one so currently right now the only two people do not have any determination is providence and kayla no not providence and nico the only ones who do not have determination so but you can only have one at a time and all that does is it, it uh, adds a your proficiency modifier to a d20 roll whoever has it so it could be for saves attacks it doesn't matter with that being said i think that's it uh, let's go around the room we have garner playing glitch stop stop okay do we Can't have his old day got... oh go ahead sorry i ran into a problem <laughs> it's oldie i I don't have anything to say. Oh. Lovely. Then we have JR. You want to talk about this the stream? Way I promote? Yeah. Okay. I was confused. <laughs> <to say that. laughs> I'm giving you all the chance to say uh, whatever you want to say. Yeah. No, I've just been kind of like out of it because I have been traveling a lot and my brain is a little bit like from work. But uh, we have been off for a little while in part because I've been really busy. Uh, there are pictures, if any of you guys are in my Discord, of some of the stuff I've been doing on Amazon. Uh, and we might be on for Tuesday, we might not. I might have to go back in the jungle. But if I'm not, then we will have Maidens on Tuesdays. Usually we have Maidens on Tuesday nights. Uh, and that is about all I've got going on this month for now. Uh, some things I may be brewing for in the future if I manage to get enough free time from work to pull them together. Uh, Word Tender. Hi, I play Kalis. I'm boring outside of that. No, no news on the streaming front. Oh God, no. Oh, okay. Oh uh, well, yeah. Life is uh, nuts. <laughs> then we have my runner and savior of my discord, the whistle. 
Don't do that to me. Fun. That's way too much. Look at um, the fun. But word. we do have a new competition this month, so come join the Discord and get in on the competition because there's a prize. Nice. Uh, thank you, Minty, for the follow. Thank you, Win. Uh, we do have Silverwolf also. Hi, I'm Silverwolf. I stream on Fridays, and I'm here every other Sunday for as Orwinus on Gorder, uh, Goblets of uh, yeah. Goblets and Warlocks. Oh my god, it's been a long day. And I will be in the charity stream as well, so you'll be seeing me there to uh, get in that fun as well. All right. And as Zafoon gladly pointed out, because I miss it, you can also redeem as a viewer to be a side quest bit bad as they are dealing with Zafoon in game because he redeemed the side quest big bad. That being said, grab your goblet, sit back and relax, and get into the show. We do have Kalis doing recap tonight because he rolled the lowest. So if you don't already have inspiration, get inspiration. And uh, that being said, um, grab goblet, sit back, and relax. In a world of magic and mystery, where dragons soar and elves roam free, there lies a secret society known as the Order of the Dawn that you see. From the shadows we emerge, protecting the realm with a search. Our mission, our duty, our pledge to keep the balance to safeguard the edge. We are the guardians of the land, unseen, unheard, we make our stand. In the taverns, in the alleys, in the night, we fight for justice, we fight for what's right. Raise your swords and raise the shield for the order. Intelligence, and I don't think she has anything. And yet. welcome back. Uh, Kalis, would you like to lead us into tonight's recap? Yes. Uh, so, last time, uh, we were in a bakery and we were doing an investigation. And <laughs> sorry, uh, and then suddenly. We were attacked by shadow creatures, uh, which we quickly dispatched of um, due to our prowess in battle. Uh, and in doing so, our good friends Glitch and Nico uh, were very tired for some reason. I'm still incredibly unclear on what happened, uh, but we waited for them to rest. Um, we met a dwarf. I remember he really liked Providence. Uh, and then we <laughs> uh, needed to figure out where our prime objective was for this investigation that we are on that I actually completely know about. Um, so we went to the city hall uh, because Nico, the newest member of our team, uh, who has shoes now, um, knows about postal service things. And so she then found out that there were two people under the name of Zephun that lived in this great city. Uh, where are we at again, Providence? Uh, we are in East Haven. East Haven. Um, 
so one presided in High Hill, uh, which is where uh, people of wealth, right? People of wealth? Mm -hmm. Yes, people of wealth. Uh, and uh, we don't have a way in there, so we had to talk to um, a military regiment of sorts. Uh, we met a cadet. Uh, his name was Tomlin. He was a very helpful young man. I don't think he knew exactly what he was doing. Uh, but he got us a captain who did and gave us a key for no reason whatsoever other than we asked him for one. And I appreciate that in a man. Uh, and so now we uh, need to find our way into... Uh, we need to find our way into High Hill uh, and figure out what is going on with these missing people. And now Nico and Glitch are also missing. Uh, yes, you walk out of the town hall, you find your two compadres, or two companions, uh, are not longer there. But we'll kick over to Assam while you went back to rest up at the Majestic. Uh, and when you're- Did, you're did I have any good dreams while I was napping? No, because you're so exhausted and your strength was gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh what, what what are you doing at this moment mm, so um just real quick uh when you guys left up were you planning on going somewhere next uh or what did he some know about what you guys were doing before he left we, we had not really discussed. We were just all really tired, and you were like, I'm going to go set up our rooms because everyone's tired, including me. All right. I was like, peace. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Isam literally will... did that over your shoulder as you left. Uh, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isam, like, starts to, like, put together everybody's room and, like, make their bed or whatever putting together their rooms means. And uh, just passes the fuck out. Then wakes up with like some saliva kind of like dried up on the side of his face. Doesn't know where he is for a moment because he was so exhausted. And then comes to, and then takes a moment to investigate the Majestic a little bit. Um, does the Majestic have anything beside just the rooms and the common area? So uh, you know that as you went back, I'll give you this. Uh, I would say you probably have time enough while everybody's gone doing their stuff. Uh, you do know that there's a whole separate part of the inn, the back end. Like, for everything that's public, the people in the order has. Private. So, you have... Pull up my notes real quick. Um, but yeah, you, you have your own private tavern area you have your own rooms separate rooms from the public rooms um why are we where am i thinking oh that's what i didn't hit like an idiot yeah but uh yeah you have your private rooms where is my document i didn't have this one pulled up because i didn't think you were going to ask about that thought you were just said a city well, I can just. Uh, I mean, I have, some... I have, I have it all up. But I just have to scroll through my um, notes to find is that location. So Isam's gonna cross his legs as you're looking for your notes, and okay. he's going to do some breathing exercises that his old friend taught him. <clears throat> Imagining darkness around him, and it's almost like the room gets a little bit darker at the same time that he does this. And after having done that for a few moments and having collected himself, he creeps his way out into the hallway. Uh, maybe look, making his way down to the tavern and uh, going to the person that equipped us with our gear and stuff that we went to go see about the um, about the, uh, the coins and whatnot. Um... So you also know there's what they call a whispering gallery. Uh, that is also uh, it's, it's kind of like a meeting room where 
Uh, it has soundproof walls and enchantments to prevent eavesdropping, so you can have legit private conversations. Um, these are all the secret locations. You got the hidden chamber where y'all initially were recruited into the Order of the Goblet. Um, there is the Sanctum. Um, is located in the attic of the inn. Um, uh, Who's in the Sanctum? So it's adorned with celestial symbols and glowing crystals. Created a, a tranquil atmosphere. Um, used to commune with divine patrons and seek guidance and regain your inner strength. So, so you probably would have went gonna, there. Yeah, he's going to go to the sanctum after having taken his nap, and he's going to pull out um, a little bowl, uh, fill it with water from a special flask, and take out this rowan stick uh, and make something that looks really kind of nondescript and find a spot for it, like in the corner or whatever, where it might look like something that you set flowers on for a grave or something like that. Uh, and he's going to leave it there in the sanctum. <laughs> and after he's done that, he's going to look for the guy that gave us our equipment and whatnot. When we, it wasn't that, the guy who gave us uh, Oh, God, what was his name? What, or what was his title? Ah, oh, fuck. My mind went blank. I probably have it in my notes. So I'm I'm playing the marrow. The marrow. What's his name? The marrow. No. Yeah. The, the well, marrow. that was his. That's not his official name. That's his title. The marrow. Yeah, I think everyone just went by their titles, right? Yeah, um, so he's gonna names. go. He's gonna go to the marrow. Ah, oh, good sir. May I help you? Um, you know I'm. I'm not from around here, and uh, I was wondering if I had a couple of means that you might be able to help me with. One is I was trying to figure out where the best place to go to um, find gems. You know, we do a lot of high risk activity, and and I can help, but uh, I can't do that without without gems to revivify people. Yes, uh, we do have those, but those unfortunately cost the medallion coins that you know that you, you and your party are working towards. So we have those for that, or you can try out in town. Um, in town, they cost 300. I don't have that spell for 300, but. You're talking about the revival? Uh, it'd be 300, yeah. Yeah, it, it's 30 gold pieces. Uh, but I do have one medallion, right? Yeah. Uh, if I spend the one medallion, does that mean I lose access to all of the um, all of the places? Do we have to have at least one in our pocket? Is that how that works? So, you guys are registered at this location, so you wouldn't necessarily need a diamond with you from this location. Now, if you went to a majestic in okay. another major city, they don't have record of you there, so you would have to show a medallion there. So how many of these medallions do I need to get one of those gems? Which gem are you looking for? Uh, one for the Revivify spell, please. So you're looking for a 300 gold worth diamond. For know normal society. Yeah. I know it's pricey. But we've just, we've seen so much death lately. I'm, I'm really worried. How about this? I'll give you one now. We do a little contract. And I get half your proceeds on the current job you're doing. I have no idea what the proceeds on the current job are doing. <laughs> exactly. You know this is a risk for me and a risk for you. <laughs> I wonder if... Uh... I'm probably not authorized to make that deal, to be honest. I can't oh, you presented a contract to you. Episode. Well, I mean, it would be half the proceeds of the whole group goes to him in exchange for the diamond. Oh, I mean, like, he just said your cut. So of my cut? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, and I don't have any idea how much we're getting, right? No. Do we? None of us do. Do any of us know? No, they didn't. They it's like it, it was more treated more like your introduction, but you were told yeah. you depending on the severity yeah. of it, it will determine how much you would get. Okay, well, if it's just my cut, I'd be like, I think that does sound like a good idea. I mean, who knows what could happen in this thing? We came pretty close last time. He slaps it down on the counter. So this is a, a contract. They give of like um, a store credit, if you would like. You're at, you're applying for credits that you will have to pay back for this gym. All right. We don't have a lot of banks in Weep Town, but um, I, I think I understand the concept. And Sweet. Then, um, Just sign it the dotted line there. Can I like? This is this is just like a regular paper, right? Oh, it's just regular paper. There's nothing enchanted. Okay, he's gonna like sus look at it for a minute. He's gonna like Arcana check it or whatever, and then he's gonna uh, sign his name. Yeah, if, once you read over, it's just it's nothing nothing too crazy. It's just I promise to pay half my cut back for this what you're receiving, basically. Nothing. There's no trickery. There's nothing like that for it. You're not signing away awesome. your soul. Uh, He's not a devil in disguise. There's nothing like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Isam's always been broke and always lived kind of on the outskirts of this town. So I feel like he's not really good at money management or really understanding how anything financial works anyway. So I think he'll just be like, yeah, okay, I'll go with it. Um, so uh, then, uh, 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 he's going to, are you, he's going to roll it inside. Uh, you, you look like you're a little bit confused. I'm, I've never been to... Where I'm from is very different from here. Uh, I guess that's mm -hmm. all I could say. How about this? Would this make this easier? Turns it around. And then he wrote at the bottom of it, in addition to this contract, it basically says, uh, automatically he would get your cut when y'all are paid. So basically, he gets like a direct deposit. You don't have to worry about it. Um, I mean, I don't mind bringing it to you, but it's okay. However you want to do it. Can I ask you uh, one more question? I need to find out what happened with... Uh, I need historical knowledge of things that happened far from here over the last 74 years. Um, do you know where the best place to do that sort of thing might be? Especially it depends on what depends on what you're looking for. Or like, are you trying to research? If it's the something... history of organizations, I suppose you could say. We have a few like that in our library, but it, it could be there a while. Because yeah, our organization has been I... existing for 500 years. So, yeah, but if I you want more so of the divine and God, uh, outer worthy or celestial type stuff, that's going to be with the divine Vin God. They have it a was, massive library on that. It was a, it's about an armed group that worked on behalf of, temporarily on behalf of. Uh, the Temple of Sulfreda in Weed Town long, long ago. Um, but I don't well, know. I don't know if those kind of records would be available around here. Well, all I could say, as long as the organizations were in Lorstrian Empire, we would probably have it or some form of it. Mm. They were definitely working outside of the Lorstrian Empire at that time. Uh, Weed Town's outside of of the Lorastian Empire, right? Are you asking okay. in character or just above table? Uh, no, I'm asking in character. He knows that it's oh, outside yeah. of the Lorastian Empire, but he's just kind of like, that's his way of saying it without sounding like a dick, I guess. Like, Oh, yeah, I'll roll a natural toes. I, I guess I'll take your buff one. And if it's outside the Lorastian Empire, we probably won't really have records on that particular organization that you're talking about. 
But I like I said, the Divine Vanguard, they have a massive library for all sorts yeah. of stuff. And uh, is that the same group as the... Da, 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 da. There was a group that I was supposed to connect with uh, that was Divine something. And it was connected to Anyala, right? Yeah, that would be the Divine Vanguard. The Divine Guy and Guy. Yeah, I think um, the man we spoke with at first, he had mentioned something about maybe organizing a meeting with them at some point in time. I mean, I don't know what your conversation you had with them, but uh, I, I just run the little magic slash equipment shop here. So under our private or the private organization here. Where are they, where are they located? Who? Uh, the Divine Vanguard. Oh, it's on the other side of uh, High high, high Hill. And do you know it's anybody like, uh, that... Hmm? Do you know anybody that works there? It's probably the northwest of the city. Do I know any... Like, personally... I don't, to be fair, you seem like a very lovely human being. A very nice person, but... I don't quite know you that well to give away my contacts. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I understand. I just thought that might ease the meeting. That's all. Like I said, I'm a I'm a stranger around here. And I'm just trying to meet new people. Well, like you just said, the person that we recruited you is said something about setting up. I'm sure that's what they're doing. You know, that's our people's right. got to talk to their people. Your people's got to talk to our people. You, you know how it is. I saw nausea. Thank you so much for the gem. I, I really appreciate it. This could possibly save someone's life. I'm happy to serve. All right. Even though Isam can't use it yet because he needs a long rest to change his spells. <laughs> for tomorrow, <laughs> we've got one. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I guess uh isam doesn't know where the others are going to rest at so what resources and they have not returned yet so they haven't returned so he's gonna wait a little bit and then he'll probably get impatient and then he will um you know what i think he will kind of wander start to wander around the city a little bit and maybe be a little bit curious about uh, sending messages to someone back at Weep Town, so he will go to the post office. Okay. So we'll say you doing all that was probably pretty much the whole last session. So from where you're at, it'll take you roughly, it's about the same amount of distance, rough, roughly, about 30 mm -hmm. minutes to get there. All right. So and as he's going, he's going to be like looking at shops and trying to like orient himself. So he'll be kind of looking around like a country bumpkin a little bit. All right. Um, we'll cut over to Glitch. No, I'm sorry. Not Glitch. Providence, Kalis, and RNS as you're stepping out of the town hall and you don't see your friends there. <laughs> Where did they go now? Do you want me to yell? No, if they're not in the area, do you see them in the area? I can yell no. really loud. I can yell really loud. Kalis, I'm sorry. This joke never gets old. <sighs> I'm sorry, Kalis. But I don't see them either. They probably left. Where did, where did they go? Didn't Nico say she had to drop off a package? That's right, she did. Hmm. <sighs> Where would they, she do that? They said the, 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 from what I remember from what the people were saying, it was near the west gate where we came in through. And Sir Frederick said it too. Um, uh, so that's on the other side of town. It's gonna take us a bit. Is there like a there. taxi service in this town? Do we, I don't think we have the money for that. Do we call an Uber? <laughs> Even if the those did exist, I don't think we sure, have the money there, for that. Like, <laughs> sure not. There's horses and carriages and, that go through town. 
I didn't think about that. And sure. And if they did, they should be a cooperative, like they have in New York and Seven Evil. Also, Evil. I have it's my PSA: zero money. Yeah, I have no money either. You're asking us to do this, like we shit. Well, Taylor's comes from a meritocracy, so. I'm not used to not having money. This is strange, okay? Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Yeah. You're gonna have to lead the way. Yeah, I don't even know where- I've never been here. You're asking me, the person who's never been okay. here, to lead the way. Are we going You're the, the leader. leader. Are we going to the post office? <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't ask to be the leader. You guys just made me the leader. I yeah. guess we can go to the post office and try to see if we can catch them on, on their way back or something. I don't know. I guess that would okay. be a best option. So it can, and maybe we'll find Isam along the way. I don't know where he's at either. I'm not sure if he's coming back from the Majestic or not, or if he's still sleeping. I have no idea. So we gotta go do that. As we start walking, I put my hand on, my, on your shoulder and just kind of whisper, a leader should have more allowance for how they actually feel. Um, and maybe not waffle as much, but you're doing great. And then he kind of steps back and lets you, like, lead the way. It wasn't... <laughs> She's trying so hard not to say something. Biting her tongue so hard not to... Providence will start walking in the direction of the, uh, of the post office. She has been to... <sighs> Uh, East Haven before she does know where she's going. He just falls into a march behind you. <clears throat> oh my lord! I, I kind of need to see if I if I can pass a wisdom to check note whether whether I should like comment on all that sort of stuff. He's smart enough to know the letter for them. So. I'm just giving you the training I was given. <laughs> okay, she's not going to comment. She knows enough. <laughs> she finally passed a wisdom check. Um, what's your passive perceptions, all three of you? Not 15. great. 15. Oh yeah, Kalis, you're not gonna see. Oh, this at 15. All. You're, you're not, you're not <laughs> gonna see this at all. Uh, Arnis, he's not gonna see anything. <laughs> it's because he's blind. Okay. <laughs> Arnis, what was yours? 15. Providence? 15. Well, both 15. That's not too bad. We're just the 15 gang. Mm-hmm. As you're passing through the shops in downtown, as you're just kind of looking around to the usual, and you see the reflections on the glass and on the shops and stuff, every so often as you're walking, you see, like, behind you, like a shadowy figure, and then when you turn to look, it's not there as you're walking. You, are you seeing that as well? Yeah, I'm seeing that as well. Do you want Probably. me to try and talk to them again? Uh, let's wait until we're not in a crowded area, and then I'm gonna lean forward to Kiris and say, or lean back to Kiris and go, "We have someone in a shadowy figure is following us." He like puts his hand That's on so, his so hammer. Calm, calm. That's okay. We let's can take not, him. It's fine. Let's try to be. I want to clarify. It's not just one. It's just like you, every now and then you see multiples. Multiples. Okay. So then multiples. when you turn around, it's it's kind of like one of those like horror movies where if you see something behind you and you turn around, there's nothing there. I'm using divine sense. Okay. Uh, she'd probably instinctively use uh, magic awareness too, which is like the barbarian detect magic thingy. So. Detecting good and evil, uh, and then know the location of any celestial, fiend, or undead within 60 feet. All right, and Providence, what is yours to detect? Uh, same thing, except for magic items. Okay, well, the addition of what magic items you guys are carrying. Uh, yeah. I think Kalis is, you, you guys already oh, have. Yeah, and then. Uh, and yours only lasts about a minute. Does yeah. both yours only last a minute? One minute. I know yours does, but uh, uh, until the end of my next turn, so twelve seconds. seconds. Twelve seconds. My oh my, yeah, turn. mine's only 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 yeah, end yeah, of turn. Twelve well, seconds. So six yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah. Six seconds. 
Um, both of y'all. Uh, Arnis, you see this as they do it. They're normal, like, well, you wouldn't really see Caleb. Kay his kind of glows through his little eye or his uh, blindfold. Blindfold. And then Providence has that natural glowy feel. But as they do it, you see like a shimmer of black wash over their eyes. As Providence and Kalis, or not Providence. Yeah, Providence and Kalis, you are literally blind at all the blackness that you see around you of, uh, def, like, like almost like trapped undead souls just all around you. Uh, Providence would literally just stop, and she would immediately reach out with both hands just to stop her the people beside her. So, Provid, uh, Arwen, Ar Arwenus, and, and Kalis, I can't see. Uh, okay, that's not and good. And after six seconds, you're back to your normal vision. You Like, there's nothing there. What happened? Oh, no, just like, have you ever been in the presence of like, an omni like an, an oppressive darkness? No. Just like, like, it wasn't just dark. It was heavy and dark. Okay, that's strange. Kalis is just breathing. Kalis? What was that? What did you no. feel? Or... There's no seeing. There's just... Pain? I don't know if I would call it pain. It's more like... Uncertainty? Feelings so of both, lost. So you both saw something similar. This whole city. The whole city? Oh, wow. Something is happening here. Uh, we should we should find the others. Yeah, we should find yes. the others quicker. Do, do you want me to yell for them? No, let's do a jog. Uh, Kalis, do you want to hold on to either my hand or my shoulder to jog so we can make sure we can ca get there quick? I'll, I'll keep pace. Okay. All right. No, we're not using thaumaturgy. <laughs> what a really <laughs> one else got she, to see she, that comment. She didn't say it out loud. <laughs> well, I mean, she, she used all caps. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't say it out loud in game. It's... She was thinking it so loud. So loud. Sorry, it, everybody that's it. watching. We have a side chat, and I just said it in very large capital letters. I just want to use thaumaturgy. That's what happened. So, as you're doing that, we'll cut over to Glitch and Nico. As you're arriving, I think we ended as you're arriving at the postal service. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll probably just walk in and go to make my delivery. Um, but no, oh, glitch! I can't hear you. Right, I'll come in with you. Hmm. Um, yeah. <clears throat> a small chance check to see if there's any mail in my name. <laughs> I've been gone for a while. Maybe somebody wrote me a letter to find me. Yeah, you've been gone for a while. Did you did you live in East Haven? Nope. No, no I did then, not. No, then no, you definitely wouldn't people have send, mail here. <laughs> people send mail to random places to search for people. If he was gone for long enough, they might have sent it to every major city. But um All right, uh, Higher or low, Glitch? Uh -oh. Low. <laughs> Shit went high. Always high. You do not have <laughs> any mail, Glitch. Never get high. Let, let me listen, kids. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll walk up to wherever I go to deliver my parcel okay 
Um, and I'm just going to hand it in and say, yeah, um, this is delivery of, of parcel. My payment uh, agreed upon was 180, but I am a day late. Sorry for that. There were some hiccups. But uh, that's, that's to be expected. No worries, you hit the pick up your next package, correct? Um, I'm going to put a hold on the next package, but I might come back later. Had some, some personal stuff come up. Where are my damn notes? I'm so mad at myself. Uh, please stand by. Your call is important to us. Is this where you find out that the uh, postal service is actually like basically a slave ring, and you're just like forced to deliver packages? No, I have contacts and stuff, and I cannot find them in my hmm. notes. I feel like the postal service is like just pretending to be the postal service because they're laundering money by Not the front. cocaine for like yeah. insane amounts of money they're like smuggling contraband all over the place oh there we go that's why that's why weasel took the uh the mule background yes <laughs> <laughs> uh so the response to you nico is like are you sure because this one del this one pays like 500 gold they want this very important package Deliver it to somebody, and I thought you'd be the perfect one for it. Where, where, uh, where's, where's the destination? Uh, destination. I uh, lost my world map. It's the dark, scary castle that no one returns from. Well, that's fine, because I'll get paid and be <laughs> rich there. But I need to know if, if we're going in that direction. All right, we're starting on podcast with <laughs> the mail delivery. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. We're going on our own. <laughs> Never find us either. I know I forgot to open something. I'll run up. real fast, guys. Real fast. I'll be back in like a our, month. Our group name needs to now be like something postal service related. Give up. The postal party. The chain letter breakers. <laughs> <laughs> Not canon. Guess that ghost Going is gonna postal. get me because I'm not forward in this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna open an incarnate to get to my map. Yeah. Open up, dude. Please. I want us to be looking for a career chain. This could be it. <laughs> oh my god. Also, uh, none of y'all know that I'm making this money except for maybe glitch. Because he's standing right there. Yeah. You should. Well, you didn't think you you should be getting paid. You're working. Yeah, but I I mean none of the rest of y'all know that I might be making five hundred gold. It's my money. But like one eighty for yeah. delivering a package. Damn, postal service workers get. Well, paid. except it was yeah, from a distance. <laughs> but like stamps are twenty five cents, bro. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, you want to know what this is going? To, it's going to be delivered to Naporia, to. A, my uh, the name is Malachi. Malachi, in Naporia. Yes. Um, above table. I don't have the map pulled up in front of me. Wh where approximately? <laughs> that Sorry. is south, southeast of Aventus. We don't like, want to go there. That's far away. That's why it's charred. Uh, yeah, that's why it's so much. Um, or time limit? <laughs> yeah, uh, usually. Can I put a hold on this job until tomorrow noon, and I, I will report back whether or not I can take it? I do have some people that I'm traveling with at the moment. Okay. Thanks. I know. I know that that cuts into the delivery time. All that fun. Uh, just so you know, we're not we're not holding it just for you. I'm um, still so be looking for somebody else to take it that's willing to take it. Sure. That's fair. Alright. I'll, I'll see if I can get back sooner than that then. Um, before I go though, I do have uh, Did something... you look at the package? The one that so, I'm dropping off? 
Was it a big one? Oh, the, no, the, I, the I don't know if we can go there. Uh, the package is probably about like four by four bots. Oh. And um, did you look at the label to verify it? Problem. Sure, yes, I did. Give me an investigation check. Investigation. Is this for the new one? Mm hmm Okay. Let's just get uh, because up. you're 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 hinting at it, I'm gonna use one of my advantages. <laughs> you're gonna use your uh determination. Oh, you don't have one. I don't have I, I have I only have a few advantages. That's all I've got. Don't have uh, ooh, but that. that gives me a nat twenty for a twenty two total. Damn. Right. Yeah. I'm going to send you a direct message on Zoom of what you see. Okay. I might change my mind and come back really soon. <laughs> but, uh... How busy is this place? Popular place? Mm-hmm. Um... Hmm. And they, and they, you see this as he's putting it back behind the counter. Uh, you know what? I will take that package, actually. I, I can talk my group into it. Uh, are you sure? Are you sure? Absolutely. 100%. Uh, well, here's the 140 gold for the package that was a day late, you know. And yep. uh, here you go. You'll receive your payment upon delivery. Absolutely. Um, I also have uh, a small amount, uh, a small bit that I need to send to, uh, I want to say Kirkland, but it's Kirkwall. <laughs> <laughs> Let me double check my character sheet. Um, yeah, Kirkwall. Uh, just, just a... a uh, and I'll hand over a pouch, and and the letter is in it. Stuffed okay. it in. Um, how how much are we talking for delivery of this to Kirkwall? If I give you back the <laughs> one forty, that's not what I want. This. Do I get a an employee discount? Uh, sure, but I gotta figure out what Kurt Wall, how far Kurt Wall is. Uh, it's in the five towns. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so since this has to go overseas, so uh, international, as they like to call it, shipping, um, <clears throat> price is gonna be doubled. Uh, so it'll be 20 gold pieces. Cool. I will give you 20 gold for that. Out of your payment that you just got. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I will keep the other 120. <laughs> got it. I thought you got paid 180. Uh, I, I was late. Mm. They, do they don't pay for it being late. Man, I'm going to reconsider my life choices now. I think I want to be a postal worker. Holy shit, bro. Uh... <laughs> You are given a deadline. This has to be delivered in two weeks. Two weeks? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I will put the parcel in a nice safe place near the bottom of my pack. And uh, uh, As you go to pick it up, it's pretty fucking heavy. Awesome. I will, I will still put it in a safe place in the bottom of my pack. <laughs> Ways... Approximately 60 pounds. Okay, great. Hey, what's your carry weight? Uh, that encumbers me a bit. I have some stuff that I really need to sell. Are we using encumbrance? <laughs> yeah. We can carry it together. We just, never, we just never had to... We just never <laughs> had to worry about it because Ariel just throws stuff in the bag of holdings. Yeah. Um. So why the two weakest people going up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you should, why did you make strain through dump sat if you carry heavy packages? Well, because they're not usually heavy. 
If it wasn't important, I probably wouldn't have. You're not here. <laughs> um, I'll, I guess I'll we'll help. Hey, Glitch, can you, if I, can you, like, carry my old armor for me until we get back to the group? Please? Uh, sure. Thanks. Try. How heavy is that? Uh, <laughs> Might have a problem. Yeah. Um, it, <laughs> 45. I'll add it. It's, okay. it's. What kind of armor is it? Mail. I'll add it. Yeah. To see what happens. We might need a cab. <laughs> We're gonna walk real slow going back. We're not jogging. No. Yeah, I'm over capacity. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> we'll just leave it in mind because and just remember that we're both over capacity until we get somewhere where we can dump stuff. It doesn't mean you can't walk. You're just walking yeah. slow. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, Isam's showing up, but he has a strength of seven. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So. Is there a handle on the package on both sides, like a chest? <laughs> It's just a bit bots. Okay. Oh sure. Uh, no, it's a box. Need a dolly. Yeah, you said it was just like a. I, I'd grab yeah. a box, but it's underneath my. Is there a cart we can stuff. rent or something? Just to drag it. Yeah, I still have. Yo, guys, I have a carrying capacity of one hundred and five, and I'm only carrying thirty two right now. So I've got cool. seventy to work with if once I get there. Not to like, okay, med it or you'll anything. catch us. You're med here, yeah. yeah. You, you'll yeah. catch him for sure, <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, so are y'all leaving now, or yeah, we'll start walking back. You, you want to have a conversation yeah. with Glitch outside first, or before I have Isam show up? Um, oh, look, ask what this is. You went from not wanting to do it to let's take it. Uh, it, uh, I think it'll benefit the whole group. It's got some, it, but we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll remind me and hold me to this. I will talk about it with the group when we are not in the middle of the street. Oh. Are we going to steal it? I don't want to, because it's my job. But we'll talk, we'll talk about it after. All right. It's like rule number one, don't steal people's stuff. You think it would be murder, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. But uh yeah. All right, we'll waddle down the street. Then <laughs> yeah, I'll ask right. who is uh who's Lady Klein? Uh my my boss. Boss's lady Klein? Yeah, something like that. Something. <laughs> yep. Are you, are you going to insight that glitch? <laughs> yeah, that you gave that eye like you want to insight the shit out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Making me roll my negative two stat? Ooh, nine. <laughs> nine? Okay. Well, if I roll higher than 11, then. Uh, nope, I rolled a five total because I rolled a seven. Um, I look real uncomfortable talking about her. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, but, but, uh, she is kind of a boss, but you get the feeling I'm not talking about postal service boss. Yeah, that's what I, <laughs> hmm. I would keep walking. It's like, she sounds interesting. <laughs> She's, do you know much about the, the five towns? Uh, does Glitch know more about Five Towns? Because I don't. As you're having this conversation, you see... How's E Sam walking down the street and he sees his two friends? Is he doing these numbers? <laughs> uh, I mean, E Sam's not really like a, a jumpy kind of person. Like, he's I was always joking. Kind of like a, I was joking. It'd just be pretty funny reserved. watching you do this. <laughs> 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 he he walks down the street and he's he, he's kind of like looking around kind of slightly distracted by looking at like all of the buildings and whatnot and taking inventory he's never been to this part of the world before and even the architecture is different to him uh and then he sees the two of you and like instead of like looking happy he kind of looks like confused first like why you're separated from the rest of the party but then second why you're walking so funny 
Yeah. Um, and so he kind of like stops for a moment, studies you kind of like, what the fuck are they doing? And then, uh, and then approaches and he's like, I'm glad I caught you. Hey. No. Why are you walking so like that? Are you okay? Everything's heavy. <laughs> Everything's heavy. Yep. Uh, you didn't get a chance to rest. No, no we no. did. We, we rested. We just what? Box is heavy. Sorry, sorry. To clarify, I would have given you the armor and stuck the box in my bag. You wouldn't be touching that box. Yeah, he doesn't let she she doesn't let anyone touch her box. Nope. I caught that. <laughs> Baby Arwenus. <laughs> Don't touch it. Yeah, yeah, Ar Arwenus can, sure. <laughs> There's a back tattoo. It says that. <laughs> but, uh, is there anything I can do to help? Um, how, can you carry some stuff, maybe? Maybe. Sure, I'm, I'm yeah. happy to. Cool. Can you just carry all of my rations? <laughs> 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 I think we're micromanaging a little bit now. And maybe this. And my rope. And her arm. Uh, 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 Just carry okay. all my stuff except for this box. <laughs> scale mail needs. And the scale mail? Pick it up. Yeah, I, I think own? Glitch is, is encumbered. Maybe you should give oh, Glitch yeah. the rations and I'll take the scale mail. How does that sound? Sure, that sounds wonderful. Could probably All right, so should I just add scale mail then? That. Is it just normal scale mail? Is it like scale it's mail? It's normal yeah. scale mail, yeah. Scale Some mail plus 30. So was you it. not wearing a scale mail in there? You just kind of took it off in the middle of the postal service? Well, I because I was given better armor, and I, I told them I would trade them for it. And they're like, no, just take the better armor. And I was like, oh, got it. Yeah, okay, got so it. I need to sell this other armor at some point. What are you planning on doing with this scale mail? Selling it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I just ran into the problem of uh, getting enough money for gems for healing. Mm. <laughs> How much do you need for that? Uh, I offered them half of my share in exchange for a gem I can use to bring one of you back if you die. Oh, that's that's nice of you. Ooh. I don't really know oh. what half of my share is, but it sounded like a good deal. Yeah, I don't think we covered that yet. But, yeah, uh, I mean, oh. I I know how much things cost in Weed Town, but here everything just it's it's different. Yeah, especially with that cult organization, whatever they are. But right. yeah. you mean Kalis is cult? No, I mean, I mean the one that uses the coins. Oh, that we're not yeah, supposed yeah. to talk about while yeah, we're in the middle of the street. We did kind of join a cult, didn't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. so. Uh, so Isam will do his best to stick the the like it yeah, has cloth. He up. has like a cloth. <laughs> like his stuff is like mostly like desert robes and like cloth satchels and stuff like uh so he'll stick it in in his like largest cloth backpack thingy cool, cool, cool. yeah so uh what what happened where did everyone else go uh they, they were at city hall which is way why, over there why city hall they want to info on uh, the building. The, I can't remember her name. Name person Zayma might own the house with the shadow spirits living in yeah. it. Yeah, uh, they, they wanted or? a way to. They wanted to see if the town guard could get them act to get our group access into High Hill. Yeah. Not anyone can go to High Hill. It's 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 nope. the rich rich place. Mm. Nobody can and can't just go to High Hill. The Divine Vanguard is that inside High Hill or is that on the other side of High Hill? 
if you if you have your above VTT open, you'll see the Divine Vanguard is the gated fortress area behind High Heel. Oh uh, yeah. So getting to the Divine Vanguard doesn't require getting into High Hill. No. No. No, it's around the other side. So yeah. Okay. High heel. Tim. That's yep. what I hear High every heels. time. Too. <laughs> it makes sense. Yep. Hmm. I wonder and about the it, about about this time you're having this discussion, you see your other three companions coming up in a very quick and pash fashion. Oh hey. You know, like a fall all outright run, but it's a pretty brisk fast just shy of a full gone sprint coming up to you guys. Yeah, Pro Providence is like power walking. Are they being chased? <laughs> no, you don't see really okay. okay. Clearly they their boxes aren't heavy. No. Yep. Well they, they didn't go shopping or yeah. whatever we did. Yeah. Should we should we Take a moment to sell your stuff, or um... I would love to sell some stuff, or also maybe get someone who. Um, yeah, it's Providence. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. You, there's stuff happening. Yeah. Wait. Um, we totally forgot. Verona's with you guys too, so Verona's yeah. running behind you guys as well. Totally yeah. forgot about her. Fair. Uh, well. Can you carry it on my stuff? Fun. Should we pretend like Look we don't the see them? Yeah, it's hanging. fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, J.E. Cross, for stuff. the follow. Welcome in. Hmm. Yep. Okay. okay. Um, aside from the armor that I got someone to hold for me, I'm just going to uh, message providence all the stuff that i'm gonna be like please hold all of this for me yeah, yeah that's thing. fine but we got we gotta go there's like some, some creepy things following us yeah, yeah is I there somewhere we could go talk yeah thank you cross for the subscription for your prime sub you oh. can give advantage <gasps> to anybody you like who would you like to give advantage to Thank you for the subscription. Uh, welcome to the Juganites. And uh, what's your subscription? You can give a advantage roll to anybody you like. Ooh. Providence, please. So Providence gets the... Uh, Thank you. She really needed it. Yeah, yeah it brings yeah, her totally right up to nine. Holy. Yeah, she got, yeah, like, she got spoiled. Almost all of us combined. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, nice. Now back in game. Thank you again for your oh, uh, prime subscription. Hi, puppy. Sorry, who's holding? Who has you, the baby? You hear baby? you hear a dog in a random alley barking. <laughs> Thank you. Gonna, I appreciate that. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna retcon and actually send Kalis a list of stuff to put in the bag of holding. So I'm not carrying stuff now. <laughs> You're not. I'll just like. Hold it open while we're walking, and you can just yeah. throw stuff in there. I just mean so yeah. that I don't have it in my inventory, so that my so character needs to be in the bag of holding bait. Yeah. yeah. Just Otherwise, I don't have food. Just shoot me a message. Yep. I don't know if Isan has food. I don't. I I have food if you guys. Need I'm happy to share. I just yeah. I got 10 when when you live on your own, you just notice store stuff. The food was always just been... brought to me. Oh, I have some sushi if you want. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, where are you like, walking I to? I don't know how to cook. We were, we were coming to find you guys. Yeah, wherever we can go to talk. Privately. In, in a bright area. Just... Yeah, nice. lots of light. Or, you know, I've been wanting to go visit the Divine Vanguard. We could also do that. A place of holy? Yes. Or we could, we could go back to the Majestic and talk there. Or and we could... You do know, as I'm as telling you before, there is a room that is completely sealed off that 
can talk in yeah. private as well. They have a room that is completely sealed off that we can talk in private. Like, that might be our best enchanted, bet. It's enchanted to avoid people overhearing as well. That um, might be our best bet then. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Or we could go to the library. People are pretty quiet there. Well, uh, let's not go to the library, just in case. I think some people don't have quite the... Yeah, let's not go to the library. Back to the Majestics, Room of Whispers. <laughs> right. Lead the way, Arwenis. Do you know where you're going? Oh, wait. No, wait we'll this time, there. yes. Okay. We all just came from there. Hey, Arwenis, you're doing a really good job. And she's going to cast Guidance on you. Thank you. Why? She, she doesn't, like, cast anything. She kind of just, like, taps you on the shoulder, and it just happens. She doesn't know she's really just you have guidance now. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. I guess head to Majestic. Oh, goodness. Are you okay, our witness? Uh... Yes, she is projecting authority. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm fine. Right, that's... I'm fine. Thanks. <laughs> You can feel it. Yes. Okay, Confidence. I'm panicking. Okay. Confidence. But... I'm gonna start like rubbing your shoulders as we walk. No, 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 People always have to do that. Yes. Okay. He needs to follow someone. Uh, and again, as anybody has passed their perceptions of 15 or higher, as you're looking through, you're seeing the same stuff happen. Like you see shadow figures happening behind you when you turn around, and you do not see them. So um, do are not they, are... try and sense it. Don't, don't try and sense it. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> that damn dog. <clears throat> Like, there are a lot of dogs dog in, in this town. Area. That legitimately yeah. scared the shit out of me. <laughs> can I just, can I just like tell you guys that two nights ago there was a dog like underneath the like place I was in. It had something stuck in its throat, and all night it was <clears throat> like the most insane noise. You, yeah, like, yeah, that oh, happened. Happy. That happened while you were taking uh, a short rest at the majestic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I mean, I, um. Yeah, uh, so we're was, is it the same as? Yeah, that's a good that's a good call, Safoon. The bar, the dogs are barking at the shadows, but you do not see the shadows. Is it the same as the one that uh, Isam saw invisibility? The one when he cast the see invisibility one? Uh, is that the uh, same? Is it the same thing that he saw when he stopped no. and he pulled? Um, so this no, is they, they look like the ones that attach you in the bakery. Oh, yeah, we should definitely go back to the Majestic. I think that's a good idea. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's a good now, thing. I'll, I'll even give you added much. when you're looking behind you. At, you kind of see them just wandering the streets. And then when you turn around, you don't see them. Can, uh, can you some do either an Arcana or a Nature check just on like Shadows habits because it's kind of weird to think of them wandering around in the daytime. Sure, I have a plus zero to both of those, so <laughs> uh, I don't know which one you are. Right. <laughs> Remember, you do have a determination, you do have rewards. No, nah, it's okay. I'm just gonna, I'm doing it on a whim. Why do I give you all rewards if you don't use them? I use them. I, I use them. I'm saving them for something important. I forget. Okay. Uh, well, you can only have one determination a... at a time and one inspiration at a time, so you might as well just use those. Well, I'm gonna wait until something I'm a little more invested in. Uh, this is a six. So, uh... <laughs> do you want to make it a nine with Don't your worry. determination? <laughs> no, I will not. <laughs> oh my god. I, if I was inciting the shadows, I would get a plus eight, but. <laughs> You're not sure. Right. Not very sure yeah, at all. No idea. Shadows. Hmm. 
The only thing you, I'll give you this. The only thing you could think about is how they were mouthing stuff to you as you were making them dissipate. What are they mouthing? No one knew. They, they weren't actually speaking. They were, they were talking. So unless you could read lips. Mm. Anybody have the, the, uh, the, 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 the observing feet? Ooh, Kalis. <laughs> no, I like. I have alert. Never mind. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, that I, can people, I can read lips, Our okay? Blind character can, can read yeah. lips. My bad, they just my have bad. to be in a certain range. Yeah. I have to, like, have my hand on them. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, as you're walking back, do you all want to have a conversation about this or what? Uh, no, we're going to wait until we're in the, the sealed room. area. Sealed room, yeah. All right. Uh, you eventually make it back to the Majestic. Um, actually, no. You said Arnis is leading you. Arnis, give me mm. a survival check. She has a map. Does she get advantage? And we've been I do there. have a map, yes. I do have the map. She also has guidance. I'll, I'll, I'll give you advantage. That's a d4. <laughs> she doesn't want people touching her, though, so can you really give her guidance? But I'm going to make us, <laughs> depending on our role. 18. All right, now give me <laughs> a performance. I want a performance check. Performance check? Uh, <laughs> five. So you see Arnis looking at the map. But she does the Joey from Friends thing. She puts it down on the thing and stands at it and looks. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she, doing that, she finds her way to the Majestic. Here we go. Um, <laughs> Glitch is very uh, concerned. Not a word, it works. Um, I mean, I, I know the city. I could also, but that works too. That was really well done. That was impressive, actually. Right. The leader Point never has to justify their actions. I should start trying that technique. <laughs> There's it some works. Great. That's all it matters. Back. Okay, let's go. Okay. Doing great. Is Doing just great. Side-eyed, like five people. He's like, "What the fuck?" And then he yeah. goes over <laughs> to Arlenis, and uh, he's going to whisper uh, something about uh, gods of air, grant us speed, gods of time. Uh, something I've used. I forgot where I put it. And then you're going to get uh, advantage on initiative next time we... Awesome. Yes. Well, as you arrive back at the Majestic, it's mid-afternoon, starting to creep into the evening portion. And you make it back to the whisp what is it called? The Whispering gal Gallery. Uh, thankfully, nobody's currently using it at the time. And you go walk up and there's like a signing list you sign in that you're going to sign for a slot so you get the whispering uh gallery and there's a little thing if you want food delivered to you or not oh Probably. sign that yes Check that. yes yes yeah, yes food of course absolutely uh sweet buns absolutely. please is there a menu you know, this, uh, uh, this no just ask for sweet buns be, yeah. this this also might be a good place for us to message fame if if you wanted to do that's that. true you want to go um, to providence yeah. uh, yeah, basically, sure. basically they're going to send you what's on the menu for that night which they're preparing which is like one meal okay i hope it's roasted boar i really love roasted boar is, is it posted anywhere uh, is it no no it's just surprise food i guess so i mean you didn't go to you didn't go we did straight come down here. Yeah, you went straight down there. You didn't go check the menu or whatever. So what's going on that has you so rattled? Are we in the room? Is it is it the quiet room? Yeah. Are we, are yeah. we in there? Is yeah. the door yeah. shut? So if I yell, go in really and shut loudly. the door yet? Yeah, you have not said it. Yeah. No, let's go in and shut the door. <laughs> let's go in and shut the door. Go in and shut the door. Okay. All right. Before anybody says anything, I'm going to use Define Sense again. I want to make sure, like, in our immediate vicinity, we're not surrounded by creepy shadows. Not surrounded by anything. Can I incite? Oh, wait. Celest you said celestial. 
Undead. My divine sense. Yeah, yeah celestial fiends, thing. undead. Uh, you get the same two orders from Providence and Isam. Well, yeah. I'm used to that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one I'm fine with. <laughs> I know what's going on there. So I, um, I know sometimes when I'm just like really concentrating, I can kind of feel magic around me and I uh, we were walking along the street and then suddenly like everything went like dark like like not like night dark but um like i almost felt like i was lost i, I couldn't see anything everything felt heavy um and i just yeah everything just, just stopped and and all around our like every time we look there's there's the shadow creatures they're, they're all over the place like, like everywhere that's what I saw. Uh, yeah. Pretty much. It's just, it's everywhere. Yeah, I saw a lot of those shadows in the streets yeah. after meeting up with you guys. Yeah, they started following us after you guys left. Like, we would catch glimpses out of the corner of our eyes, but when we turn, fully turned to look at them, they would disappear. <laughs> It's not the same thing that we uh, we investigated Isam with uh, Mira. The, the, the sh- yep. It's it strange those... to think of them happening in the day. Do any of you guys know anything about shadows or where we could find out more? Uh, I, I get someone when the sun, sun shines down on me. Knock, knock. Somebody knocking on a door. I, I'm pretty... Uh, I live my yeah. life in shadows. Okay. Hold on. Time out. Yes? You go to the door and open up? I'll, I'll open the door. Hi there. Here's your appetizers. Uh, uh, the main course will be out to the n- in approximately 30 minutes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, I'll give him place a silver so as a tip. Uh, thank you, man. Uh, yep. He turns and runs off. Uh, uh, what he gives you is uh, seven courses of fried shrimp. Ooh. Oh wow! Oh, these will these will these will last so long. She just starts taking some. It just puts them in her pocket. It's just an appetizer. It's not the yeah. course meal yet. Isam looks like very confused by the concept of an appetizer, and just like the kind of overwhelming amount of food that people are getting. And uh, see, people just bring us food. Yeah. Uh, no, you did get. I, I should also work on. Uh, you did get a choice of either coffee. Mead or wine? Coffee. I'll do Mead. coffee this time. Mead. And it was, Wait, what's, what's an appetizer? Mead? Oh, <laughs> it's um, <laughs> it's delicious. You should have some. You should. No. Okay, I'll do okay. mead. All right. What's an, an appetizer? appetizer? It's like a little meal before your big meal. So like mm-hmm. pre-dinner. I'd change my mind and take kind of. uh, yeah. wine instead. Yeah. Whatever yeah. y'all want, you're going to have to. Cool. Huh. And, uh, Verona, Is that why it's so small? Yeah, it's just something to eat while Cook finishes, like, your regular food, uh, because you're impatient. Yes. Oh, okay. It's what, what you eat now said. to make you more hungry for your main meal later. And you're oh, not you supposed to eat all the bread. No. Meeting makes you eating makes you more hungry. If you eat like a little, little, just a little bit. That's why they're small portions. Yeah, yeah. It and makes it's, it's typically uh, giving uh, while the just like Mr. Kayla said, uh, uh, time for the cook to finish the main meal and put the final toppings on, so just to tie you over, so to speak, curve your hungers. That's Verona talking about the way. Yes. Yes. There is shrimp being stuffed into 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 Providence's face like oh, don't, also okay. to clarify, I would have kicked the door shut as I brought the appetizers back to the group. Yeah, door shut always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, shadow things all over the place. Yes. So this Zafoon character. Mm-hmm. Are we assuming that they are creating these creatures, calling these creatures here, 
Something Are these like creatures that? just a manifestation of something else that is happening? Uh, you guys uh, didn't you guys learn something about Char or something? Wasn't that the? I remember yeah. hearing something. Well, like that just because of how dark and shadowy everything was, it just kind of shadows, <laughs> darkness, Char. It wasn't actually like solidly connected to anything that we've seen. Maybe she has some sort of connection to hmm. those shadows. Maybe. Well, you said you found a holy place? Uh, yes, they have a, a sanctuary or a sanctum. Uh, it's, it's at the top of the building. It's just for one god, all of them. I think it's a pantheistic, pantheistic environment. Is that, is it okay, Kalos? I, yeah. Checking. <laughs> Other sure gods exist. I I know. Sometimes people don't like to share spaces. Well, uh, Sharia stares to the sky just the same as we all do. Voltia uh, shares everything. Verana uh, speaks up. I did have a, I did have a question. Ah. Uh, why was she so interested in the guy's fly a uh, uh, flyer outside the town hall? Oh, yeah. That's um, nothing to concern a genie with. Can I roll? I like that answer. On both <laughs> Arwenis and Nico, or not Arwenis and Kalis. My bad. Go for it. <laughs> I just totally remembered I'll that this. you found that. <laughs> I was trying not to bring it up. Same. <laughs> I got a nine, but you have to add eight to that because it doesn't do it on the. That's why I didn't open. You can use your determination. I'm going to use my determination. I'm getting to use the D. Well, I got a four. <laughs> I, I rolled a 14. Plus I got seven. a 16. I rolled a 16, yeah. so I'm going to add use my determination. So. Okay. And. Yeah. So I'll have 18 in total. I have 23. Did you use yours too? 20. 23 no. deception. <laughs> All right. I insight nothing. I got a 15 total. Or no, 9 plus 8 is 17. Seven, 17, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Well, uh, Kayla, she was one too. Well, that was rude. <laughs> I don't know who you are other than a being that is in the body of my friend. Dad, now, what the hell this you... is not saying you haven't been helpful. Um, but also, you're in the body of my friend. Do you think Can I want to be in the body over? of your friend? No, I think you want to be in a deck of cards ruining other people's lives. Yeah. Did you think exactly. I want to be in a deck of cards? You think I chose yeah. to be in a deck of cards? <laughs> guys, you guys, guys calm down, calm down. And um, he'll like gently lay a hand on Verana's shoulder. Was, I'm, I think the whole situation of losing our friend is very traumatizing for a lot of us. I'm, I'm sorry, Verana. Sometimes we might take it out on you. I got one question for you, Kalis. How did it feel to be locked up in a cage? I didn't care for it. Exactly. How do you think I fucking felt? I'm going to assume not great. Exactly. You think I chose to be in the deck of cards ruining people's lives? Did no, you ruin people's but lives? I, I do think you actively chose to involve two people in your escape, and it went wrong. She's Would you have done a call because she Kalis? turns and walks the fuck out of the room. Yeah. Like, I mean that seriously. Like her. Can yeah. Isam follow her? Guys, that was a bit uncalled for. Is it okay if Isam follows her, Jugan? Are you going to leave the rest of the party to go do that? Yeah, just for a second. 
Sure, you can go follow Arminus. She, yeah, yeah, she's definitely involved in, 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 in why Faint's missing. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care about that. She was trapped in something, whatever. But she's also the one that took a young girl and gave her powers that she wasn't responsible enough for. She ruined Fane's life without even knowing it. She will always be responsible for that. I don't know what she has with you, but she probably ruined your life too. There's music coming in. I don't know where it's coming from. <sighs> it's gone. She doesn't get any sort of, I don't know, relief or, or, or guilt or guilt freeness. I don't. I don't know. I'm not good with words, Arwenus. She doesn't get to walk away from this just because she also had a hard life. She still ruined people's lives. She's here with us, isn't she? She's trying to help. Yes, she has a lot. We all have stuff we have to condone for. Don't we? We all made mistakes. Never she made, made a mistake. mistake. Providence? You got caught, didn't you? You got trapped in a cage like the rest of us, didn't you? You made a mistake trusting people. Fine. Okay? We all make mistakes. I even make mistakes. I messed up. I'll admit it. But we are here together to try to get her back. And Bron is trying her best to help. I know you do not like her. And I know you do not like what she's done to Fane. But or remember, you. she's, or me, well, me, she hasn't really done too much. I've been, she actually has helped me a lot, but the last two cost? years have been, besides the last two years being captured, that was a bit of an unpredictable moment. But besides that, she's actually helped me, kept me alive. If I didn't have these powers, I would not be here. I will apologize to the genie. I won't. Uh, uh, Sam, as you're chasing down the hallway after her, she she's walking up the stairs to towards the rooms. Uh, Verana. As you turn around, you see like steam coming off of her cheek as you can see like tears are rolling down her face listen you you did what you had to do to get out of a difficult situation i don't know all the details but i want to apologize for our group judging you quickly and harshly they don't like me much either so i understand what you're feeling you cannot apologize for somebody else's comments I, I just want you to know that I if you don't want me to leave, I will leave. It's fine. We definitely I'm sure our witness doesn't want you to leave and I I'm The big one does this as well. I've heard her snarky the comments. One, the big one thinks with her heart, not her mind. And she's very hurt because of her friend being gone. And seeing you causes her pain that that isn't necessarily your fault. Again, I don't know all the details, but I can see how she might not know where to place her feelings. They were close, Fane and her, very, very close, completely inseparable. And, and being a heart apart must hurt her more than anything any of us can imagine. I did everything I could to keep her from being switched from us. The forces that was trying to do it was too much powerful for even me. So I tried everything. So I'm trying to make amends. But they didn't know what to set my help. I can leave. I think I need to be I alone don't know. tonight. Uh, is, is, uh, is she carrying the book or who's carrying the book? Not her, right? She, we have someone else carrying it. Okay. I, I think... Please at least stay within the majestic or stay somewhere close, just in I case. I go into my room. We all we are in the room. order now. I can't just up and leave it. If you want, I could go take other jobs and y'all can go about your merry way. I'm happy to have you here. I think it may not be the most vocal of us that expresses that, but there are those of us that do, that are happy to have you here. And, uh, I know it might not feel that way, but with time, I think Providence will come around and 
possibly Kalis too. Again, they don't like me much either, but little by little there may be ways to, to smooth things over. I'm going to try to cast Ascending to, uh, to Fane, and hopefully that will help. She's right there in front of you. Oh, you're talking about this, oh, the actual Fane Fane. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, 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 before you do that, she'll say to you, it's just like, well, clearly for me, being around them tonight is not going to help anything. So you can go talk with your, f talk with the group and let me know what you guys decide. Well, I want you to know that to whatever degree I can, um, I offer you whatever protection I can. I appreciate it. I know it. I don't have much. I'm not as powerful as you, but we're in this together. And even if they all don't like us, or some of them do and some of them don't, we can hope that those relationships improve over time. Well, like I say, I think it's best for me to be away for tonight. I'll have them. I'll send. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, when they do send the main course, have them send mine up to my room. He'll nod and he'll head his head back. Thank you. And she turns and goes into her room. <laughs> and that's where we'll cut to our um, uh, taking a short break session. We'll pick back up with you returning to the rest of the group and y'all continue your comments, your chatter, and talking. Get ready, uh, go use the bathroom, go get food, go get snacks, go whatever you need to do, and we'll be back in about 10 minutes, all right? Thank you, guys. Enjoy some clips. Rattaroo here! The viewer said they wanted to give a magic item, so here you go! Rattaroo! <clears throat> right out the gate. Oh, that's a paddling. <laughs> well... I forgot about that sound alert that I made for that. I forgot I made that sound alert. All right, uh, let me get my thing for the magic item. On the other side of my green screen. Wow. He's We're seeing into the world of the DM. Fabric of the universe. Look yeah. at him. He's breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> He's breaking the fourth wall. Literally the fourth wall. That's the, the, the second wall. wall. <laughs> that was the second wall, guys. The fourth wall is. That's the presenting app. All righty. Mm -hmm. uh, Roll me a D100. Ooh. Probably oh. Nico. Oh. Yeah, we Wessel re, re, redeemed it. How oh. does it work again? Just exclamation just, mark D100? Just roll 2D10. Yeah. Exclamation your desk. mark 1 D100. Do you not have your... There we go. 38. I wanted to know what people could see we're not even live yet. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Uh, I forgot what table I rolled that off of. Is that C? The really good oh. one. The yeah, the it's one the, where we can get a wish spell. Yeah, oh it's God. the tier the tier three magic item list. That's the one you want. Yeah. Yes, because that's three correct. Three means correct. we're above third level. You're funny. <laughs> I think it is the first one. Uh, you got a 38. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I put it in there. So, what did Manny steal and shove into the bag of holding? <laughs> well, like, <laughs> while I'm looking that up, why don't you, we come back and you see Assam return and yeah. make conversation of, like, you kind of walk in back into the end of that tussle of Aranus and Providence and Kalis little argument there. I don't know if you can call it. <sighs> How is she, Isom? I like, quietly sleep back in there. I think she might have been crying. Oh. I'm gonna look glare at both of you. Really? It was not my intention to make her cry. It was my intention to make her cry. Providence! She... Providence, maybe, would it help if, if we sent a message to, uh, to fame. Can we do she that? She kind of just like stops. I can send can a you talk to Fane? Across, even across planes. Like, I, I used to. to. Ask questions. I used to. Can, I don't. I can't hear her for a while though. But we can maybe send a message yeah. That's Twenty-five words with the spell. 
we could try again Ask. arwenus your way is better um but if that I can, doesn't work i can yeah I can uh, let me stuff. see if i can talk to her hold on ask her if she knowingly <laughs> knew how dangerous those cards were all right give me a sec let me concentrate see because it's been a while i have a feeling <sighs> even uh, if she knew she wouldn't have cared she was immune to yes that. but i want to know if they knew knowingly exactly what was going to happen when she used those cards um fane are you there uh first off uh Kalis, as you're sitting there uh Ding, ding, ding. This potion drops out. It's kind of, kind of like this uh, tan, brownish look to it. Everybody else sees as it pops out of your bag of holding potion. What's this? It's I liquid. Can that out if you guys want. Along yes, with please do. That yes. You oh, need yeah. Share. It is we a go. potion. We have a bunch of stuff. It's a potion of storm giant strength. We can finally move the package strange... by ourselves. <laughs> How do you what is going strange? on with that bag? Arwenus, yeah. I think you'll benefit the most from this. Uh, thanks. Let's leave it in the bag of hold. The bag that Kalis has that's strange. We'll get to that in a sec. Hmm. Wait, how is how are things constantly popping out of this? That's bag? what I'm wondering too. So my friend who gave me this bag, um, sticky fingers may not have been the most upstanding citizen. You think? Uh, well, is she the one space we keep ripping up? Nico offering us the luck we need. Do you think we could contact Manny? Maybe. Well, I mean, I if, only, if Isam can, I, can, can communicate. I can only cast a spell once. Is, where is this friend Manny? We don't know. That, that's why we want to know. But if we can only cast it once, we once. should cast it for fate. I can cast it twice, but I was hoping to use the second of my power for the day to... Uh, Try to remove curse on you, Provident, to see if I could help sever your connection to the woman with the red eyes. Yeah, that's uh, true. yeah, that might be good. But uh, yeah, yes, Kalis. We can very carefully choose twenty-five words. Oh, Providence Kalis? is cursed. <laughs> uh, I've, maybe, maybe not. I've been for a really long time. I've been, you know, having nightmares and. Stuff. And you know, like when I turned into that not so nice lady. Yeah. Yeah, that was not fun. Okay, so first, fade. Well, Providence, what do you want to say? I'd want to tell her about all the adventures I had. No. Uh, okay. I, got, Less. I got taken by a shadow. Less. I... No. We only have 25 words, love. Are helpful. you okay? Are you, Are you okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I need to find out if she uh, wants to come back. If Want she misses me. Come back. Um, we, she saves I think me. We know, I, I think we know that she misses you. Yeah, she does miss you, for sure. Last time we talked, she does miss you. She did want to come back. That, for sure, I do know. But we could tell her that you miss her. Maybe that will make her feel better. Oh, she knows. I, she might feel alone, and it might be nice to hear it. Okay, yeah, tell her, tell her you miss her. Um, tell her that I'll kill Verana, if... and that no. we'll get her back. Excuse me? No. Oh, We're not killing Verana. Waste, no. Wasting message and magic from this message. We're, like Glitch Doesn't said earlier, anybody. we just ask if she knowingly I... did what she did. And tell her that I will do anything to get her back. Wink, wink, kill, kill. That's what I'm afraid of. No kill. Should we, should we ask if she might know something that could help us get her back? Her? Yeah, maybe. Or if she might know. Or something, info. Can she? Maybe she can. I don't know. I don't know what it's like to be stuck in that dagger. Maybe there's 
something she can see or that she knows from the outside. I don't, I have no idea. Okay. We, need, we need to find the dagger, right? Maybe we, maybe she can tell us where it is. It's a possibility too, yeah. That's better than... So, lots of stuff. Knock on the door. There's another knock on the door. Yes, come on in. Nico will answer Her secret it. room, it sure is busy. <laughs> is it food time? It's yeah, probably yeah. food. What, uh, here's your main course. Is, uh, I have seven uh, courses, but it's only because uh, we sit I'll take the second one. Could, no, no, it will go can up to bring, her room. Can, yeah, can you bring the, that one up to Verona's room, please? Oh, but of course. Uh, here you go. And she Thank you. Gives, uh, you now have roasted chicken with an orange juice glaze. Mm. Ooh. Oh, what is this thing? And she holds up the orange. It's an orange. That's a fruit. It's, it's just a door. And wants Thank it's you. Good. <laughs> it's, yes, it's good. It's healthy. And I, good. Will, I will serve everyone there. Mix it with Thank vodka. Thank you, Nico. No. It's called a gladiator. You're welcome, Arunish. Wait, have Thanks. we already had our. Did we already get our mead? Yeah, yes. you had that already. Okay, I don't think Kalis knows that it's on the table yet. Uh, oh, Kalis, Kalis, your drink is right there. Yeah, it's, it's good them? that you waited. You might get thirsty after your chicken. So, Isam will use his power to ask Fade. Hello, Ray, Mister. How about how about this yeah. so far? Providence misses you. Can you help us find you? Okay. Is she okay as well? Oh. Uh, uh, still okay. okay. Two words. Still oh, wait. Okay. Then I'm telling her that I'm okay. Well, uh, yeah, better to say, are you okay? Um, how about just you okay, you okay with okay with an inflection? Sick. Yeah, does does a fleck inflection come through on the on the sending? <laughs> Let's wait and see if we need to economize before we uh, <laughs> before we go that far. Did so you far, know what at... you were doing when you picked up the carts? That's pretty vague. Oh, um, she did not know what she was doing when she picked up the carts. That's thirteen words. We'll find out. Th how about your thirteen how about... words? How about? Do you regret the cards? That Ooh, might be or, a good one, yeah. Yeah. Or also, should we ask directly, can we trust Verona? Mm. Okay, that might be a yeah. good one. To, yeah, I do, but I understand if you guys don't. So, yeah, go ahead. Can you put this on speakerphone? <laughs> I don't think it is. I'm not sure. Oh. Can I put it on speakerphone, Jurgen? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, so Providence misses you. That's three. Are you okay? That brings us to six. Can you help us find you? That six more, so that brings us to 12. Do you regret the cards? That brings us to 17. Can we trust Verana? That's four more for 21. 21. So we have four more words we can use. Providence possessed by ghost. I think that would just be really. She really briefly. needs to know she'll find I don't, you fun. But well, also, at the same time, later. she might think you're still possessed by a That's ghost. That's true, too. Yeah. How about Robin just was possessed? Was... No. Or how no. about I was stabbed this? by a ghost. Providence misses you. What? what how about like we, Providence we all beat do. up ghosts? Yeah, we all do. We miss Providence you. misses you. We all kind do. Of. Are yes. you okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, can you help us find you? Do you regret the cards? Can we trust Verona? Does that sound good? I'm yes. good with that. Yeah. And say bye. It. Yeah, bye for last yeah. the last one. That's the last word, isn't I it? Toodles. Yeah I, think... yeah, I think that's the last word is bye. If you need to, yeah. just say, do you regret cards instead of the cards? Like. Yeah, bye, bye still works. We still have for bye. Okay. <laughs> bye always works. Bye is valid. Okay. Uh, Isam will cross his legs again, kind of like, uh, kind of like stretch his shoulders for a moment, 
and then he'll whisper under like really quietly um mother of night keeper of the spaces in between master of whispers or mistress of whispers pass a message for me please the one that is far beyond us and then his eyes will turn black and then he'll whisper the message out loud but it sounds like there's it's whispers but it's like multiple voices that kind of echo as he says it um so there's like this weird kind of like echoing echoing whispers effect like it sounds like multiple whispers happening at the same time you know say providence misses you we all do are you okay can you help us find you do you regret the cards can we trust verana bye give me arcana check You better not send this to Verona, or I'll be so fucking pissed. <laughs> I'll use. Do I have? Do I have any advantages? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. And, and determination is just plus three, right? You have advantage yeah. and determination. Yeah. Can I use guidance while I'm casting a spell, or not? I can uh, guidance for, you. I was like, guidance is or, a cantrip, right? So yeah, Nico. you can. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. You can't. Right. We're not in combat or anything like that. Right, and it so lasts. I will... It lasts for one, you actually you got it yourself because I think it lasts for one minute, and then in yeah. that one minute you cast a spell. So yeah, it will be fine. Yeah. And then uh, use the D. And how many advantages do I have? You have four. So you are using the determination. Okay. I'll use determination and advantage and guidance. I think okay. between that. All right. So I'll roll the guidance first. That's a three. So that comes to a total of a plus six, right? Yes. And then. Da, da, da. All right. The highest I rolled was a 12. So it's 12 plus six. 18. 18. Plus your arcana. Uh, my arcana is zero because my intelligence is 11. All right. As you feel, you spin the spell slot. As you feel, you cast this. And you can feel the meshes get sent out. But then it collapses and fades at the wherever you pointed to in the room. Collapses. Your arcana, with mm. that... So with that arcana, you get the feeling that this is a soundproof room. Well, fuck. I have to do this outside of this room. The The magic in this room is blocking messages in and out. Um, do you guys want to move up to the sanctum and do it there? Sure. Sure. It means, unfortunately, I won't be able to try to remove curse on you tonight. I'll have to wait until tomorrow um, to do that. It's okay. I've been like this my entire life. It's fine. Uh, before we leave the room, though, um, we need to go somewhere on the other side of Aventus really soon. Uh, like the other side of the world? No, it's just down south. Yeah. Like like other other side of this island continent. Oh, I know what we're talking about now. Yeah. Uh why? Why? Um, because I need to deliver a high paying parcel uh and something about Ira. Uh, what? Ira. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Ira. You do you... Is it a is it a package to Ira? Um it's a package to honestly I wrote Mikael, but I really don't think that's the name Drew. Malachi. Said. Malachi. Malachi, thank you. <laughs> it's to Malachi, but it's like ICO Ira. So You don't see that on the label, you see that on the side of the package. Yeah. What is what? ICO? We're one hundred percent opening that, right? No, we are not. That is like rule number one. We're not opening this this package. You're not opening it, but we can. What is oh. what is what is ICO? Yeah, what is ICO? <laughs> hey Jugen. Do you do you know what it means? Like you as in Weasel know what that means? I not really know. As in your profession, ICO means in care of. In care okay. I was thinking in company of and I was like, I'm getting the C wrong. In care of. Yeah, cool. So I, I realized after I sent you that, that's what we use in the military. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. like, 
Uh, oh, she she doesn't know. I'll give Does it to that... her. Yeah. Does that mean that Ira is receiving a package on behalf of Malachi or that Malachi is receiving a package on behalf of Ira? Yep. That. <laughs> Nico would know. Um, You're not sure. It could be either or those. Yeah. It, it could go either way. It's wrong to hold a package, but they're not good people. At least Maybe Ira's not. Way, is so what I'm thinking can... is open it and then close it again and no never know. we can know who that. ira is it, she was written on the on the letter that said bring us the fancy stuff for reward and power no the, that's yeah. a secret of souls but no. ira what she, we know ira is the secret of souls is she yes. all i know is she's craven's sister yeah and, she and i've is... heard her name oh, she's yeah. also the one with the, the dagger yes with the dagger yeah. she has the dagger that holds fame oh yeah. Okay. So, but what I'm thinking is, if we don't open the package, because some of these have like, they'll pay extra for like a magic seal on it. So I don't, we can't just open the package. They, they might, they'll know. Could, could but we can use the, this to get close to her. Could you cast the identify spell? And I can still pay, package. get paid. We're casting the identify okay. spell on the, on the package. Tell us what it is. Oh, that... Depends on like tell us if there's magical, magical seals. seals. Like there, I mean, like you couldn't send your spell, which but is a higher, powerful at, spell, at least, out of this room. At, like at least, at least casting the identify spell on the package would at least tell us if there is one of those seals or not, right? I I I'm not comfortable messing with the package, particularly if we're going to try to use it to get close to her. Could one of you guys detect magic on the package to see if there's a... I can. If, maybe that would tell us if there's one of those can seals or not. Also detect good and evil. Or good and evil. <clears throat> yeah, Providence will use her, her last uh, magic awareness ability. Mm -hmm. Kind of see her eyes flare white again. Can you detect stuff through objects? Uh, it's anything within 30 feet that's not a, as a long as it's not with a or like encased in one inch of iron yeah. uh yeah lead or something lead, lead. okay yeah. uh so providence you get the sense that the package itself is not but the something inside of it is yeah it's yeah, still in my definitely... backpack <laughs> i don't trust you guys there's definitely magic in there. Oh, you didn't pull it out for everybody. No, no, it's in my back. But you can cast it and know that there's something in my backpack that yeah. is. Yeah. And there's very little left in my backpack right now. Yeah, I got it all. Yep. Yeah, it's magic, guys. There's something. Do you do you know the school of magic from it? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think it's enchantment. Does I'll my character check. know what it means? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna check something real quick. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust that this group isn't gonna just rip it out of my hands and rip it open. Well, well you're you're carrying something for the evil lady. He does have a point there. But well, it is wrong. Uh, it's, it's a school of abjuration that you sense. Yeah, she'll she'll pass it along. She'll be she'll she'll be describing abjuration, but she won't use the word abjuration. Okay. Like it's magic that blocks stuff or something. Yeah. What if we accidentally drop it off a building? Well, <laughs> no, I think that I, I like think I'm job. actually I think I'm gonna actually side with Nico on this one. Um. If that can help us get the dagger, that means it's closer to getting the fane. I don't want anything to jeopardize that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What What if... The My dagger... only reservation, I am 100% on board with it getting us closer to Ira. Are we also 100% sure that's not something she needs for the ritual? If she... Then we don't give it to her at the at, at the final step. We don't know if we never opened it and resealed it, though. Uh, hold on. There's no knock. 
Yes. Everybody, everybody shut Someone up. Someone else can open the door this time. I'll get up and open the door. Over there, Kayla's no other side. Oh, there. Okay. there yeah. I've already yeah. delivered this to your friend run upstairs, but here's your uh, dessert. And she hands you all oh. an, ap an apple tart. Thank mm. you. Oh, I know apple. Thank you. Can I incite that to see if like it's poisoned or has something weird in it? You've been it, eating the rest of the meal already, so you're gonna incite this just one suddenly, thing. He suddenly just got suspicious because he's like, he suddenly had second thoughts about eating their food when he's not sure about this cult. Oh, now you're 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 <laughs> contemplating um, shit. If, if, if I he's see already you like hot, I have a cheat. <laughs> um, are you like actively poking at it? I'm just kind of like either studying it or inciting it, the guy that delivers it to see if like she he seems the waitress. to be aware or she yeah. or the waitress seems to be of anything nefarious with the food. I'm just like inside her maybe. Okay. <laughs> Roll an insight check. Okay, click Meanwhile, Providence is already stuffing her face. Yeah. Mm. Kalis is also taking her first sip of his mead. Mm. Did it show up on, a, on the VTT? Is that what happened? It's not... Yes, it says a nine. Okay, I didn't nine get any plus eight. <laughs> would that's be an old one. 17. Oh, that was 43 well, minutes yeah, ago. Never mind. Yeah, that's 43 minutes ago. I don't see Never the mind. current one. Okay, my, my character page is frozen, so I'll roll. Really? That's an 8 plus 8 for a 16. Uh, you notice that she's, like, very hurried because it's, you get the sense that it's probably busy out front. Okay, got it. And she's, uh, she she kind of dusts it off real quick. And... Uh, Kayla, close the door again, please. Boop! Yeah. Um, if if I like, is Isam poking at it at all, or or were you just checking out the waitress? He was checking out the waitress. He wasn't really. He's, okay. He feels unqualified to test the food. Okay. If you're not doing anything with the food, then I'm not going to offer anything. Um, They're going to put it out there. Going... Go ahead. Uh, is he's is it... no? Go ahead. You, you first. Oh, I was just going to say that I was going to. I'm rolling perception just to see how Kalis is doing with the mead. Uh, it is delicious. It hurts a little back here. Okay. I, I see him kind of like choke a little. Give me a con save. Okay, let's. Do, 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 do. And that's a plus two. 18. It doesn't hurt at all. It's really smooth. Yeah. This is delicious. I don't know why I've never had it before. I told you it's great. Uh, he, in he kind of just completely oh, so, drinks so, so, that so, drink. So, oh god! <laughs> it's still it alcohol. It tastes like syrup. It's what? It's alcohol. Mead is alcohol. Uh, uh, Kalis, like hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. as you're also eating your tart, you get the little. It's kind of mixing with the apple, and he gives it that little apple taste, almost kind of like you're drinking a Red's apple ale. <laughs> It's delicious. I thought alcohol was like it burns when it goes in, or like me. Some or, not do. Uh, some don't. The, the ale meat is, and it meat tastes like honey. bad bread. <laughs> no. Some do, no, some yeah. don't. It depends on what you're drinking. But yeah. still, be careful. Don't overdo it. You, you got the honey one there. Here, have a sip of my wine. Just don't chug it like you did your drink, because I want it back. Glitch, what are you doing at this moment? He's standing at the door wondering why we're not going to go cast a spell that everybody was so adamant about. Well, because she brought up Ira! Like... <laughs> okay, okay, guys. We have to... We're going to do the spell. We'll go upstairs and do the spell, but um, I, th I think we need to go... Or you can just open the door, maybe? Ira? Okay, just oh, yeah. open the door. <laughs> just waiting. It's like... What's Nico? Would you no, just stay in the quiet room for cast, a second. How much time spent on apple pies? Identify <laughs> on that on that package on the thing inside the package, or would that break your code of uh, conduct or whatever? Mm -hmm. the postal service. Okay. Well, if it's a code of conduct, you stick to that. Guys, I need this job. Like side eye, but would <laughs> would casting identify 
Is that against the rules? I, I'm not allowed to mess with the packages. Yeah, um, does that count as messing with it? It can, yes. Depending on what kind of magic seal there might be on this, and there, I imagine... If I imagine this Ira person would probably pay for the magic seal, and like I, I, I feel like that is a gray area, and my father I... always said that gray areas are black. <laughs> hey, <listen. laughs> what? What? The world is black and white. Uh, it's not actually always. not. No, it's not. No. Kill us. There's actually this thing, and I don't know if you're going to understand it, but we call it color. Like, what? <laughs> it's it's actually kind of neat. Like that, that, like that mead that you're having, it's not black or white or gray. It's actually kind of like a yellowy color. Like a yellowy oh, orange. Oh, no. I mean, yes, I understand that <laughs> things in this world have color. I have heard people describe paintings to me or how the sky looks. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about moral ambiguity. There's no such thing. There's there right and there's wrong. And yellow. There is a middle and part. yellow. There is a middle, Kayla. That middle part skews towards wrong more often not than not. More often than not. More often than not, but it does happen if someone's trying to do it for good. Even the sky has different shades to it at night. There's one light coming down. There's a lot of lights coming down. That's why there's stars, not a star. It's all one light. Okay. 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 Let's open the door, <laughs> see if you can cast uh, Sending again, Isam, and see if that can works. I, before we, we do that, can Isam have uh, incited uh, Nico to see it? Like, the adamantness, this seems really intense. Is she just really serious about her job, or is there some other sort of like thing going on like he's suspecting either she's got potentially some ties to the holder of this package or there's like some other threat over her head and that she might like that's his that's like his little instincts are like suggesting that is there a way to insight if there's something more going on here than just the just the rules of the postal service roll an insight check that's a 19 plus 8 for a 27 I have a negative two. I'm not beating that even with a nat 20. <laughs> um, I'm not even going to roll. What is this? What is he saying? Um, Remember, it's not a lie detector test. It's just. Yeah. Um, it, the most adamant. No, it was an applesauce pouch, not a juice box. Um, <laughs> the most adamant thing that she said was that she really needs this job. Uh, no, and not just like this particular delivery, but just like, and she's mentioned before that like, when when you guys asked her what, if she is interested in joining or why she's interested in joining this group, and she said it pays, like, yeah. All we can give you, you get the sense that if she's this adamant about her job, in the past conversations you've heard her talk about, there might be money owed somewhere. Yeah. Could just file that away for later. And uh... guys, I hint at stuff all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He'll file that away for it later and get ready to leave the room. I guess if everyone. Yeah. Um... I'll I'll get up and start moving towards the door to open it when we're ready. Yeah. Hey, uh, Nico. Before we go, before we go up, are you able to identify something? Like we have. Yeah. So yeah. Keep absolutely. on saying you, you can. Yeah. Um. So she's gonna pull out her sword, and she's like, "Can you figure out what kind of magic item this is?" Uh, sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> absolutely. It's gonna. It's gonna uh, take me like ten minutes, ten eleven minutes. Does but... Isam? Does Isam know that it's not magical? Does you know, know it glows magical? every time she touches it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it started glowing the moment you, I took it out. I thought you wanted to talk to that. Fane. Yeah. yeah, but she's not. Yeah. Uh, she can't talk to Fane. So when I, I don't know Fane. Yeah. yeah so so yeah. do your do your thing. 
and Does I'll open All right. the Does Isan door. Know that since we both have yeah, that same I'm leaving. ability, <laughs> Isan no, we're staying in here. No, we we're just make. opening <laughs> the door. You can't no, stop we're me. Going up to the sanctuary. Glitch, glitch, <laughs> bring back more mead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, uh, if... But does Isam know that she's been casting light on herself? Get it yourself. No uh, she doesn't even know she's been casting light on it. I mean, like, since we have the same ability, the <laughs> racial ability that you've been using. Oh, no, that's... Uh, oh, yeah, that is a racial ability. Um, I don't know, you can roll an insight. Oh, I'll roll one, too, and just whoever wins. 16. Uh, what's my modifier? I don't know. That's uh, 19. You did... Your deception. Isam does not know. Uh, Isam, they, they did say this was the room of Whisper, so maybe just stepping right out of the room might be able to send it. It's or like just opening the door breaks the spell that's on it. That could I be it feel too. weird. I feel weird. I don't know that that's how it works. Try just stepping out of the room and seeing if it works. Yeah. I can only do this twice. A I know. Day. So I know. go out. Side? Let's do it in the sanctuary. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. All right. After this, we, we still have to talk about the shadows too. We still have to finish that mission. Well, let's I know. do this. Sane first, and then yep, I know. Okay. So we make it to the sanctuary, and you guys notice a little bowl of water in the corner with a ruin stick, kind of like situated so it's standing up against the wall and the circle of dried nightshade flowers in addition to all of the other things that uh Dugan describes in the room are you like trying to concentrate not like concentrate mechanically but are you like trying to concentrate me yeah as you're doing this uh what does this mean? not mechanically just like in character oh uh, when he's when he's casting sending yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess. Why not? Providence is like looking at you and like trying to figure out what's going on. If you look at her, she's going to ask you if she can do this too. <laughs> uh, these powers, they come from agreements with a, a variety of different deities that takes a long time <clears throat> to cultivate. I mean, I have an agreement with two. With training, I think eventually you could, but uh, it could take quite a long time for you to learn to do this. But watch carefully, maybe, who knows, you seem to be a prodigy. You've done a really great job of learning to control your abilities with, with, no, tra with no support. Maybe later I can teach you some of the things my mentor taught me for controlling them. Okay. All right, Isam's going to sit in the center of his room, cross his legs, and again, like, he's going to whisper to uh, the mother of night, mistress of, uh, mistress of whispers, asking her to carry whispers from beyond, and he'll say the, say the words, and they echo, like, the sound of, like, a, like, several whispers at once. Uh, kind of soothing, they also have kind of like a soothing, kind of like nighttime whispering you to bed kind of quality to them, even though it, like it's a cacophony of voices. And he says, Where did I write that down? Fall. Which notepad? Providence misses you. We all do. Yeah, You're muted. Providence, thank you. Providence misses you. We all do. Are you okay? Can you help us find you? Do you regret the cards? Can we trust Verana? Bye. All right. Well, I was trying to say, let's do it one at a time. <laughs> uh, but as you release the magic, give me another kind of check. Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, so Providence was, was is going to be there trying to like support him. So she would be instinctively casting guidance. Okay. So for the for the first one, wouldn't I would I have a did I have a sense that it was just the room, right? It was just the room. But this is something else now, because your spell goes out and it mates where it's trying to go. 
You I feel... wouldn't know. I feel like if this spell was going to go to Verana instead of going, it's to not going. Know. It's going to who you're trying to give it to. But where yeah. Fane is at, you got to. I'm having you do like a hit a DC for your spell to make sure it pushes through the magic that is holding where. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Where and uh, if Fane she's in is a, actually at. If she's in another plane, there's a mechanic within the spell for that too. I don't know if that's. It's not, she's not in another plane. She's in okay. a magical prison, pretty yeah. much. All right. Uh, motherfucker, and I used all my. Let me use another advantage. Like, what have I got for rewards, guys? You have still three. Still you have three advantages. Yeah. And anything else? Yeah. No. All right. So guidance first. That's a three. Uh, da, da, da. is there anything else I can do to beef this up? Not that I know of. Uh, and then and I'm gonna. Uh, uh it's um. Uh, so Zafun just redeemed determination. So do you want to use that Sweet. as well? Well, I'll use the determination immediately. I'm going to use my D on this one. Uh, <laughs> and through the power of my D, that raises me from uh, a 17 to a dirty 20. Mm -hmm. Very nice. As you're sending this message out, you're, you're propelling this message through like almost space and time type deal, for lack of a better word. As you feel it, and like as he casts this, his eyes go like completely black as he casts this and whispering these questions. You feel it pushing through like this magical barrier. And it's like it's almost like a maze of like a sealant as it goes right, finally finds its way. You like you can see your mind going through this and you're able to see like a flaming genie type deal and with the face of um Fane? Fane, thank you. This has like the shape of Fane. Kind of wow. look up at you and you you reach her. So let's go through the first um, question. Let's go line by line so it. I won't miss anything. When this happens, kids, Oh, I don't get to answer? Like... <laughs> Do you want what? to be the one to answer? I I know exactly how Fane would answer and you are not go right gonna ahead. answers in 25 right, words. <laughs> could we say could we say that the um, that the uh, the altar kind of like sort of like rumbles a little bit or shakes a little bit as he's doing this? The little like sure of water in the corner, uh, so like there's like little like movement on the surface. Mm -hmm. You guys notice, and the shadows kind of deepen in the room. All right, uh, Weasel, you can answer for that. All right, just remind me all of them real quick. Uh... Providence misses you. We all do. Are you okay? Can you help us find you? She's going to fuck this up so bad. <laughs> do you regret the cards? Can we trust Verana? Bye. Okay. Um, hey, I miss you guys too a lot, but it helps that Jenny and my, my clap on rhinoceros are here. Um, I'm fine though. I'm getting super strong. It's really hot, but that's okay because orcs like it hot. And I'm pretty sure I'm past 25 words, but I can keep going. Um, I don't know. I, I you have to count them yourself because I, I can't I can't type fast enough. That was pretty uh, close. <laughs> we'll give you like five more words. We'll give you five more words. And the cards were lots of fun, but I should yeah. Okay, Isam returns and I'm guessing they couldn't hear it and he has to like like pass that on, yeah. right? Yeah. Alright, what was it that you said was it? You said your elephant or something? No, my clap on rhino. Your and what? Jenny. I can't. I can't. My, Jenny. And Jenny and, and my clap on rhinoceros. Clap on rhinoceros. Yeah. Remember, she got those from the cards before she disappeared. Oh. Jenny's the okay, weird yeah. specter that follows me everywhere. The specter. Okay, yeah. Um. So you saw him come back, and he'll kind of like look a little bit like, like. He, he has the same facial expression that he has very frequently with you guys, where he's got this sort of like, what the fuck is with these people? <laughs> kind of like, What'd she <laughs> say? What'd she say? I have a funny feeling it's not good. No, no she's probably I mean, not. She, she seems incredibly high spirits. Um, she's got Jenny and her clap on rhinoceros to keep her company. 
uh, so she doesn't seem sad at all. She didn't get to the part where she told me that uh, whether or not she could help us find her, uh, but she she did seem she she seemed happy. Um, she also said the cards were a lot of fun. Uh, so I don't I don't think she regrets having I don't think she regrets them at all. Uh, I don't think she understood the twenty five word limited concept. Uh, so there may have been more, more there, but uh, Providence, she sounded huh? in incredibly high spirits. Also, I saw a vision where she was kind of like almost with a uh, fame, but like, like in with flaming genie powers, which she seemed to be really enjoying. She said it's hot, but that orcs love the heat. So, um she sounded happier than i've ever heard her to be honest. so as you say that uh you might want to roll a perception check okay or anybody that's in the room okay i have a passive of 19. Actually, no. okay, i'm not there you have to close out my yeah, i'm at the bar <laughs> yeah i'm getting mead uh, i was going 15. to but i decided i would i got a 15. thank sure. you you saw i'm reloading the page because it's Oh, no, up, but I'll just roll manually, and that is an eight plus eight for a sixteen. Yeah, I think you all start to see Providence's face like visibly like sadden, and almost a glint of like tears start to form uh, when Glowing you say that she's tears. happy. Glowing tears. You know, honestly, I think they wouldn't be. I think these would be just like not glowing oh. tears. Like uh, I think, definitely Nico. You can tell her. She, you can tell that she is legitimately sad. Um. Hey, hey, Hassan. <laughs> she, your friend said that she misses you guys too, right? Yeah, absolutely. And <laughs> most definitely, most definitely, she misses Providence. Mm. I, I, Pro, sorry, Providence starts walking I was, out. Providence. I was, I, Providence. I was so. <laughs> I was so excited to tell you that she was okay. That she's I, she's I already walking out. <laughs> Oh god, that's <laughs> you sounds like I thought this would help. She goes I'm... Screaming. I'm sorry guys. She I... walked out screaming. <laughs> yeah. I was just, I was... Sounds like a four year old. <laughs> this the, you you did help us. This this has nothing to do with anything you did. It means also... she's still in good spirit though, so she's not hurt or anything. Okay, she's having a good time. Which but she's I'd... still trapped, which I think that's what Providence is upset about. Like, she's being her normal self, but she's not here. And I don't know that she would give us anything, whether we can really trust her or not, but she she doesn't seem to have been victimized by her in any way. Also, above table, Fane did say she was getting stronger and then went into how excited she was. Yeah. <laughs> um okay yeah do some awesome image i think it's the strength and the power she's often talked about how how important it is for her to be strong and how she felt bad about not being the strongest orc so this is this is really exciting for her but fainas we're talking about too she thought she was immune to death yeah you guys never finished explaining how that works Doubt, Maybe now she is. I mean, she's she's got genie powers of some sort. Maybe sometimes what we want for people and what people want for I need everybody to take their headsets the off. Thing. Actually, hold on, hold on. Uh, as Isam is talking to this, he freezes up a little bit. His eyes go black. I need everybody to take their headsets off except for Isam. You try to communicate with my prisoner. How dare you? Wait. Wait. Your prisoner is also a friend. You didn't mean you any harm. It just means I gotta increase the magic to holding her. Good luck trying again. Wait. Thanks for letting no me harm. know where you are. 
Let us talk for a moment. You're cut off. Isam comes back. Well, let, let's get their headsets on. Well, I don't think Glitch is there. <laughs> He's... He was getting stuff anyway. Well, I don't think Providence was there anyway. She was walking out. No, and if... Are you guys in a room? It's, We're in the, in the sanctum. Sanctuary, the sanctuary. Or sanctuary, yeah. Uh, you see Isam just like, whew, come back. I mean, I would have just picked up on him stop talking. Yeah, in mid sentence. Because that was like mid sentence. Isam, are you okay? Okay, let's come with me to. Um, actually, let's do this. Uh, Nico, could you go get Glitch? Kalis, could you get Providence? Let's all meet in the, the Whisper Room. This is pretty important. Uh, Iris found us again. I'm going to go get her. <laughs> oh, yay! Providence! And he just like. Yeah. What? Scoots out. What? Yeah. All right, Arwenis, come with me. Let's get Verona. Okay. You are 100% muted. You're muted. Yes. Are, you're I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm almost done identifying this sword. Arwenis, can you go get Glitch instead of me? Yes, I can go do Thank that. Thank you. Sorry for making you waste time on that sword. <laughs> Nico just wants to be helpful. <laughs> better tell her it's pretty, you better tell her it's magical. Providence, where were you headed? Um, she probably would have just not really known where she was going, so she'd probably just be like pacing and if there was a window, she'd just be staring at it. Like by the sanctuary. Yeah, she'd just be like on the floor, not really knowing where to go. I'll probably, you'll probably see me just kind of like wandering around. I don't want to be loud. Kayla's, don't go there. You're going to fall down the stairs. Oh, there you are. Uh, we need to go back to the Whisper Room. Why? Isam saw something. Okay, let's go. Do you know the way? Yeah. I lead us back downstairs to the Whisper Room. I mean, yeah, you were all just there. You know where it's at. <laughs> yeah. Are you uh, blind? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go after Glitch. Hopefully he's carrying the mead. Glitch. Mi Glitch, I'm gonna uh, imagine probably went back to the Whisper Room because y'all sent him to get the mead. <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah. Okay. Where is he? Well, I knew they were uh, going upstairs, so that's where I'm headed. Well, you, you would have huh. seen Providence coming down the stairs. We're going back in. Do you have the meat? Thank, thank you. She just takes the glass off. Wasn't for you. <laughs> Only one person asked for mead. Only Kalis wanted mead. <laughs> Too late now. Sorry. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back at the whisper room. Oh, we need to get Verona. Hold on, hold on. Was I successful at getting Verona? Who uh, went go get Verona? Me. We did. Both of us. Uh, you go to her room. Verona. I know you're upset. She I know you're upset. In your past perception, you see her bag half pat. <sighs> what? I'm not wanted to. What do you want? No. Something's happened. Big. We need to go to the whisper room now. Yeah, hey, you're gonna have the tone. No, 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 no. That, that's that's Verona. We still need you. We do. 
but something's happened and we need to talk pronto. All of us. Give me a persuasion check. Okay. And uh, if Sam is helping you, you can have advantage. I have a 19. I rolled a 19, so. Can I guidance her? I have to roll too, so. I want to do that. I'm more than welcome to take that. Okay, with the guidance, it'll be a 21. Let me pull up. Should really have her stat block up. What? Uh, what'd you what get? Total? You uh, twenty-one. Um, uh, what's her charisma modifier? Or Plus does five. She have, does she have any uh, oh. ability increases? Um. She so her saving throws are a plus eight for charisma, um, and her intimidation, deception, and persuasion are all plus eight. What about her insight? Oh, that's a plus five. I got plus four for insight. That's not what I have in my little thingy. Mm, okay, uh, but that's not what she. I mean, yes, she has the lower amount because that's what we need for her to come with us. So you got a total Usually of 21? Inside, yeah, a total of 21. That was with your advantage? Okay. That, that's versus. not with the advantage. No, I can roll with advantage. Roll. Roll with ah, with wit, it will be a 23. Ooh. Glad you rolled with advantage. Yeah, same. If you assist, but I really think it's just better than I, know. I do. I know you're upset, and you have every right to be upset. What they said was uncalled for. But I need you here with me. And this is about the one who captured you. We need to talk about this. Okay. Staying with us could be. She the turns around, pits up her uh, apple tart that's like half eating, starts falling you down. All right. Before uh, she walks in, I'm gonna look at Robbins. Be nice. Okay. He's still kind of teary. I understand you're upset too, but please be nice. We need all of us here. And okay. your son's going to kind of look pointedly at Kayla's, waiting to see if he's going to apologize or not. He just gives you an whatever, she, whatever I can tell she's in the room. I will just... He's blind. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see it, so it doesn't matter, but he does that anyway. Okay. As soon as everyone gets in the room, I'm going to close the door. I can... All right, Isam, you want to tell us what happened? Um, so, in order to reach. In order to reach fame, I had to push through protection magics I've never experienced before. I've, I've never had this difficulty with this before uh, in doing this. But uh, apparently, that must have that must have triggered some kind of alarm for Ira. She knew that I'd done it, um, and she she spoke to me she reached out telepathically and told me that she was going to increase the protections that were holding fane so i don't know if we'll be able to try to reach her again um also it said that she she said that she knew where we were i think we should stick closely and if possible stay within my circle even if we're here at night i agree All right. Oh, shoot. Nico, this person that you're delivering this package to is very powerful and very mm -hmm. dangerous. There's no. Who's she delivering a package of... to? 
Ira. I'm trying to think what she around when y'all did. I don't think y'all told her yeah. where her real name was. I don't think y'all have. Mal Malachi, but um, the person, the, the seeker of souls, the one that traps you in the dagger, uh, she seems to be connected to this package in some way, even though it's mainly being sent to some man named Malachi. And exactly where did you say it was being sent? Nico? Oh, um, it's, uh, like, the other side of Aventus. Um, pretty far south. Is there, is there a, and a, a, a name of a town? There is, but but Weasel cannot remember it. Uh, um, Naporia? Yeah, thank you. Um... And if we get it there within the next two weeks, I will share 500 gold with all of you. Okay. Um, I, the gold is important, Nico, but if the world the ends... State of the world, I, kind of. Yeah. There mm -hmm. may be a rearrangement of debts and even the meaning of gold. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're still not gonna... You're still not gonna let us grab the I mean, is, we're not like, hugging her backpack right now. Nico, we will do nothing with that package. I want you to know this right now. We will not, that is your package, that is your charge. Nico is I trust Kalis. Um I'm looking at everyone else around the group to see if anyone else looks like they might try to make a move for it. You just see Arwen is pacing back and forth. If you think it will hurt my chances of getting my friend back, I won't touch the package. I do think that. And I won't touch the package. I, Ira knows where we are. The package to Ira or from Ira shows up here. I think Ira has it kind of always known where we are possibility or you tripped a magic seal and she was able to track it because magic seal already tracked us to the city she already knew we were close coming this way at least yeah that's why we left in the middle of the night last time it's like yeah the first night that i met you nico province yeah, give night. me a wisdom saving throw the, ma the man with oh, no, no shoes oh wait you're <laughs> yeah. i'm there whispers room Yeah, we're in we're in a special place. That's the best. I got a fourteen. You have like eight advantages. I kind of like know these. Uses her advantages, she rolls two twos. <laughs> That's also true. Providence, um, as you're sitting there and he's having these discussions, you start feeling that feel before something takes you over, and you're able to shrug it off. I, I think it's probably harder than, than than just shrugging it off. You probably see, like her eyes start to 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 whiten and her hair starts to blow out a little bit, and you kind of see her kind of just like, kind of tensing up before she. Providence, are you okay? Does anybody here oh, speak can't Inferno? Find. Speak what? Inferno. Probably. Yeah. What does Inferno sound like? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> I just noticed you're holding a package. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he some cur kind of curses under his breath in front of him. Hey, language. You understood what I said. Yeah. Huh. I just, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have cast, I, I don't have the power to remove curse. I can't believe she's reached into the room with whispers. I thought this place offered some kind of protection. Are you saying this in common or infernal? In common. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. I, I can keep her at bay. Well, you said after gonna... a long rest, you can do it again, right? Yeah, after a long rest, I can do it again. Well, first in the morning, we should try to break the curse on Providence then, or you should try to. Let's give it a try and see if we 
something might help. I think mm. also getting to the Divine Vanguard as soon as possible might give us some insight. Yes. Even if breaking the curse doesn't doesn't do it, or it might give us more information because she's she's powerful, incredibly powerful. And yeah. even sending a message, I had to fight through. Uh, we also got to remember, but, we also still have a mission to complete. So you said the Divine Providence. I totally forgot what that place was called already. The Divine, the Divine Vanguard? Vanguard. Vanguard it's, uh, was on the other side of High Hill. It's, yeah, it's connected what to if we uh, just Craven's bloodline. Did a drive-by through High Hill tomorrow. Okay. On our way to the Vanguard, we just do a drive-by and take a look-see at the house. Mm -hmm. Just a cursory glance. And but then we can have more I... information on that. Yeah, okay. if I prepare Remove Curse, my spell slot... I... Removing Curse comes at the cost of choosing between Revivify and, uh, you know, the thing I used to try to kill the guards the other day. So... Um, it's difficult to both go into battle and also do the things that we might not be doing in battle that I have to decide at the beginning. Well, of the I, I don't plan on us being in battle tomorrow. I you just on our luck? way, to, on our way, well, knowing our luck, but that's not our intention. No. This is just a, a look-see Okay. As we are going through on the way to the Vanguard, this we're not going to stop and analyze things. We are just going to take a cursory glance, get an idea of what this house looks like, what the fences look like. If we see guards, or this is obviously going to rely a lot on you people. Yep. Muted. You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. muted. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Omen Garris said in chat that uh, it's Sam, can, you cannot hear a Sam, um, but uh, I, I think you're just super low, so I don't know if you can turn yourself up by any chance. Does this help? Yeah, and while you're there, can I get you to roll me a wisdom safe? This song, me, ah, ha, I rolled a five, but with a plus eight, that becomes a 13. Uh, Can you hear me it, now? Is that is that helping? Yeah, it's that better. Is Sam, uh, is Sam is talking to you guys. She rolled a little bit better than Known Providence. Uh, you, Sam, you feel her enter your mind, and everybody else hears Sam talking, but hears her voice instead of Sam. She blocked me, but he didn't. Thankfully, we are all the same blood. Do not worry. I need them alive. Please, come and find me. I saw him you released back. And you heard all that. Oh. Okay. She can do it to you, too. Why does this room even exist if it offers? <laughs> um, Can I do she a did say, check on why this room isn't working? She did say you guys were the same blood. Yeah. What does that mean? What does There's, that mean? There should be some way to block her. There should. We need to be able to find a magical way. No, 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 no! Don't, don't someone. go over that. What does that mean? Uh, Craven told us and stuff. Okay. And she kind of looks at us on some. Shoot you a like a glare. Is like it a, why you guys glow white? Or glow uh, in general? Dark. No, I mean I glow white. You yeah. glow white. In in my vision, you are both white. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I? Oh my god! Oh. I that's not <laughs> what I meant. Back to that again. The world is black and white. <laughs> yeah. So obviously they're good. Uh, 
we're the same. I, I don't think. I'm... Stuff. Did you say stuff? That doesn't help. Uh-huh. What the sh- what? So Yusam are we finally says... going to talk about how Providence and Yusam aren't human? I am human. Are you? I don't think you are. We... See, you're not an elf. That's, That's kind of should... hard to distinguish with the pointy ears. But and back on topic. Ears. So Providence. Yeah. I've finished identifying your sword. And I'm pretty sure it's a special magic that only works for people who aren't human. Like, for me, it doesn't glow at all, but here, grab it. There's the glow. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not human, then? But are... What does Raven that mean? Raven seems to think... We should... Yeah? I think we should wait. But up to you. Your secrets are as much yours to tell as mine. Craven says we're the same as him. Whatever he was, apparently, we're the same. Do I remember what he said? I don't think I remember what he said. I don't think he ever told us what he was. I don't know. I don't remember. We're also the same as Ira in some ways. And I suspect... Ira, I don't know for sure. Part of the reason I'm so urgently trying to get to the Divine Vanguard and I'm to, so try, urgently trying to get to a library is I have the suspicion that Ira has the ability to turn people evil, specifically people like us. I don't know for sure, but I have the suspicion. I need to look into history. But yes, that is something out. we'll need to know and figure out how to counteract. Um, I've, I've heard lead uh, sometimes blocks magic if we I don't think it. we can cover ourselves in lead, Kalos. I don't think but he sounds strong there... enough to do it. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But it's really heavy, guys. <laughs> um... It is super heavy. <laughs> so you're not but... willing to tell us yet. And that's that's fine. That's fine. But listen, we'll go to the we'll go to the vanguard tomorrow. Listen, I mean, when I fought the guards, you hesitated. I don't know that you necessarily. You do things for your own reasons. We're working together on this for now, but I don't. There are things I'm not sure I can trust you all with yet, and maybe with time we can trust, but. I saw you, Arwenus. You hesitated before deciding to back me when I was fighting to free you. And Kalis, when we first met, you tried to aggressively penetrate my mind. The only one who was remotely kind was Glitch. So it just, just kind of these nice things take it. time. All right. You're, you're all you're muted. You're gonna you're muted. <laughs> What about, I have a question. So, are you telling us that you are related? Or was that Ira telling us that? I think in the same sense that, like, Nico and I are related. Or Arwen and that. Glitch and are related. Mm-hmm. I would know if you were one of my siblings. There are I didn't say them, siblings. I could be a cousin. I know. <laughs> I don't I think I have any of those, but I definitely have a lot of siblings. Uh, uh, Kalis, I, I'm more suggesting blood related. That I don't I know. I think we should wait until we go to the Divine God, Vanguard to clear this up. I think there are things we can explain with time, but uh, maybe once we're at the Divine Vanguard, we can. I, I want to gather a little bit more information before I talk to you guys about this, if possible. If you want to hear that from Providence, and Providence wants to talk to you, that's okay. Why why did she say she needed you to alive? Well, there's a big old ritual she's wanting to do. Probably for that. You're going to see Orin is contemplating a lot for something, like something's bugging the crap out of her. So, didn't 
didn't Craven say in front of everybody that Providence was the blood of Anyala? I think when he gave yeah. the chalice. Yeah. Yes. Does Isam know who his celestial like forebearer is? Probably not, I'm guessing. You talking about me? Was... Yeah. Um, You're the only one that can answer that. Yeah. No, I'm gonna answer it. <laughs> glitch, glitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if anyone would have told him, it would have been Malik. Um, first off, Garrus put in chat saying you might need to raise the gain on your input or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't have control of your mic. It's not Discord, so. How about now? Is this better? Yeah. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. That's or actually, let, let me do one more thing. You're right. We need to start trusting each other better. So, for to answer your question, Isam, um, I'm going to leave that up to interpretation by you what you would think it would be um so i feel like uh malik might have told him but what malik might have told him could have been true or false yeah that's um, what i'm saying so i'm gonna leave it up to you what you think yeah uh so i think he probably thinks he's related to anyala too yeah and i might i might be as well Are you saying that to the rest of the group or are you just think? No, I'll just leave. Uh, I'll just mention that. I, I didn't even mention anything, actually. I'm not saying anything. I was just out above table. I was mentioning. Yeah, I know. I'm just letting you know, you can. I'm going to leave that for your interpretation. Thinking. Yeah, he's yeah, he's not going to say anything at this point, but I was just curious. Throughout this entire conversation, you can see all see that Providence is like biting her lip. Is there something you want to say, Providence? I... No. Feel free. Don't let me stop you. I... I can leave the room if you would like. No. No. I... No. <sighs> oh, come on, Howard. Let's get this resolved. Okay. What leaves here cannot leave here, okay? What I'm about what? to tell you. Apparently, the room isn't actually sealed. So, I think that's because of y'all's blood tie, not anything to do with magical. That's just me mm. thinking that. Maybe you guys are all like, oh, negative. <laughs> Universal donor, baby. But it's like it's kind of rare. Do you know? So we each have secrets and we can't trust each other. Maybe it's time for me to take the step forward and reveal one of mine. You're a princess. She's going to take off her tiara. And then you're going to see her brown hair turn blonde. Her green eyes fade to blue. <gasps> hey, we're the same. And all right, that, no. Right, your moment. Howardus oh, is not my real name. I am Nira Silguin, the lost princess of the Elven Kingdom. You're going to have to type that out for us. With that being said, it is three minutes to 8 p.m., our hard cutoff time. We'll end with that nice little cliffhanger, and you get to come up with the title for this episode. As we are ending, uh, we do have people in closer to the East Coast than I am that we need to have a hard cutoff time. We'll be back in two weeks for episode 22. Hmm. Um, 
of Order to Goblet. And figure out if they're going to stop the shadows or going to say fuck that class and start bootlegging it somewhere else and not finish. No, we're still going to we're still going to do it. OK, um, I think I have some ideas to make sure you all do it. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, let's see. I lost my train of thought. Uh, thank you, guys. We'll be back in two weeks for episode 22. If you're watching it on YouTube, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below what your favorite part was. I know it wasn't anything combat or anything, but it's a, it was really more of the party getting to know each other and stuff. So, And um, okay. revealing a little bit more stuff, I think. Um, but if you're watching on Twitch, exclamation point, if somebody can plug these in, exclamation point, Discord, to join our Discord. Uh, we... Do have monthly competitions. I'll let Wessel talk about that in a second. Uh, and next month is uh, the charity event. We'll be simming one year after the last uh, year's charity event. So if you want to catch up on the last year's charity event, go to head over to YouTube, let's go point YouTube, you go over to that um, and watch that. And watch uh, it's all these one shot because there's a lot of information based off that one shot for the charity event. And what else? Uh, merch. If you want exclamation point merch, you want some hoodies, glasses, and all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm going to turn over the rest of the cast. Uh, that wants to uh, we'll start with Glitch, and y'all can work your way on down. And as I start to find somebody to rate, Rich, I don't have any other streams, so <clears throat> that's it for me. Nothing too exciting. <laughs> Is Oldie, you want to talk about our stream or whatever? Uh, actually, in exciting news, I think I've decided to start streaming as well. <sighs> I'm going to need a couple of you guys' help with setting up stuff, but it's it might not be exciting for you guys. I was thinking of doing like body, body double while I work. Oh, that's stuff. fun. Yeah. I like that. Okay, next. Uh, JR. Yeah. Hello, uh, please come check me out at JR the Nerd. On Tuesdays, uh, we have Maiden's Mayhem. The girls have found the thing that they're looking for and are trying to steal a ship, uh, outrun an army, and escape an island, a desert island. Um, we may be going this Tuesday, we may not. I, I might need to be in the jungle. I'm in the middle of like, kind of like, all kinds of work stuff right now so things have been a little crazy uh most recently uh i uh interviewed my friend about his book mindburn uh that vod is available on my channel but shortly i'm going to be bringing it up onto my youtube channel uh where you can also find a uh, goblin adventure from earlier which is also nerd empire but it's got like a period in between nerd and empire so we do a little youtube slash at nerd empire uh and uh yeah that's about all that i've got going on right now yeah thanks for being with me i'm in south america right now fun fact i read that book it's good read it go 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 great book rotender hi uh life is busy right now but i am really hoping to start streaming on tuesdays and thursday nights aside from this um it'll probably mostly just be Hack and slash in indie games. Nice. Wessel, whose other streams you're in? Are you still doing like some with other people? Um, so I yeah, I occasionally play uh one shots and like micro adventures over on Havoc RPG on his uh stream. But he he doesn't play unless everyone can be there, so it's been like three months and we've done two sessions. Uh, and my character is currently dead, and we're at level one. So, I mean, I kind of play. <laughs> but uh, uh, anyways, on Goblet, or with Goblets and Warlocks, we, as I mentioned at the beginning, we're doing monthly little competitions. There are different competitions every month, so if you really hate this month, join anyways and, and do next month's, because it'll be something different, and there are prizes. We're upcycling this month? Yeah. Um, and a lot of people are asking if food counts, so if everyone sends in something about food, then no one will have a handicap. <laughs> but, yeah. And Silverwolf! 
Well, I stream every Fridays around 6 p.m. Mountain Time. I'm here on uh, Goblins and Warlocks every other Sunday, and then I will be in the charity stream on in October for that as well. Back as Dream Breen and <sighs> super excited for this cliffhanger I left you guys on this time. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I think secretly we all know it. Alrighty, we're, we'll be uh, raiding into Ink and Ire. I think that's their name. It's been a while since we raided them. So, uh, if you're a member, uh, here's your commands. If you're just a follower, here's your free ones. And if you are a subscriber, there's your ones that we can use. They're playing... Uh, I don't know if it's d and I think it is d and actually. So, they're playing some D&D, so show them some love, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, guys. Dragons soar and elves roam free. There lies a secret society known as the Order of the Dawn that you see. From the shadows we emerge, urge, protecting the realm with a surge. Our mission, a duty, a pledge to keep the balance to save the earth. Justice, we fight for what's right. Raise your sword.